Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping ya, and I am back with my noobs guide for Elden Ring. In the last episode, we did the entire Volcanic Manor. Now, in this episode, just look at the map. We're going to be doing the entire capital outskirts. Now, in some of these other areas, like the lake, which is another large area with a lot to do, I broke it down into three parts. So the plan is to try to get all of this done in this episode. Now, friendly reminder, if you see this little tree icon, this means this was an item that I picked up, and I'll try to remember what some of them are. I know, actually, two of them are Ashes of War. So I'll try to bring those ones up, because I kind of accidentally got them, and that was a bummer. But let's go ahead and get started with this. The very first thing is I'm going to go over a couple things that I missed that you guys pointed out to me. One is actually in here. I'm not very familiar with this area. This is where that door is. I guess I should actually talk about exactly where I'm at. I'm back in this location, this Frenzy Flame area. And this is where that weird door is. Apparently, though, there is something back here. So let's take a look. What is this? What is this? Okay, I read the comment and it's like, okay, you know, there's an invisible wall over there. I was not expecting this. What is this? Horse required a head? What is this? Oh my god. Okay, this just shocked the hell out of me. I thought there was just a random item back here that I missed. I didn't realize it's a whole location. I've never done this area. So now it's time for a let's play. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably going to miss something. There are so many messages. This is a troll area. Oh my god. See, the thing that really frightens me the most about this is that knowing the part before this, give me this item, makes me think that this is just another terrible gravity area. And that's what it looks like to me. Oh, it's a deep root. Depths. Okay, we've been here before, but now we're just, what, on the top? I guess this is another way to get here, maybe. Alright, very interesting. What's this message say? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm terrified. There's gonna be bugs here. Okay, I hope I'm not missing anything right now. I'm just kind of looking around for the items. I can see there's the stupid... Oh, I got him! That was nice! Ant there. I am, by the way, considering resetting my build and going full strength. I'm still thinking about it because, yes, I like the bleed on the shield, but I kind of want to just have it be a heavy shield. All right, we're going to make this jump here. Definitely having the horse is a very good idea here. One of the things I really like about the Great Spears, I do like the swinging animation while you're on the horse. I love that. If you try using a different type of spear... Man, it sucks, because you do a lot of thrusting, and that's just awful. Yeah, this looks terrible because of the blood stains. That's what is f making me really nervous about this. But the horse should be able to do this, okay? Turn around. Oh, no. Horse, I don't know about you right now. I think I'm going to have to get off for a second. Yeah, we're getting off for a second. Now we're going to grab this item. Totally worth it, by the way, yay. Let's go ahead and get back on this. I'm shocked by this. I have never known about this place. And to be fair, I've never really went all the way down. And gravity play, I'm dead. All right, goodbye. Gravity. Yay. Okay. Back on the horse. And we need to do that again. I guess I can kind of double check and look around. Why did all the mess just go away? Oh, look at this. Okay. Oh my god, there's a queen ant down here. No. Just die. You know what's gonna happen the moment I kill the queen ant. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Give me the items. Nothing else back here. Where's the other ants at? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not definitely jumping over there. Oh my god, the bloodstains are real, man. They are absolutely real. Horse just took a ton of damage. Let's see what this is. Messages, nice. Dog! Okay, yeah, Vision of Lake, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my god, did I have any runes? I, 
don't even want to go get them. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't want to go back to that spot. I feel like that spot is just a bad idea. Well, I don't know how many runes I had. I do not care. You know what I might do, actually? I might just come back. If I finish this little spot, if I don't die again, I'm just going to come back and I'm going to grab the runes and then leave. I'm not going back to the death spot. Okay, again. Hop off. Oh, my God. Back on. I just don't want to turn around on the horse. I do not recommend doing that. I feel like that's a total death sentence. Okay, I know you're coming up, right? Maybe you're not. What's this message say? Oh my god, they're down there waiting for me. Okay, there is an item down there. We need to go down there. Oh god. Oh god! Give me the item! Alright, man, what is up with these items? They are fantastic. Oh my god. You know what? We're doing this. I'm blocking. They bounce off. See, that's the beauty. <gasps> no! You bastard! Gravity. Well, the items here freaking suck. They're all traps. Every one of them. Ah, oh, you want a golden rune eight? Here you go, or a six. You can have it, but that's going to cost you your soul. All right, back over here. Wait a minute. What's the best way of getting down? Oh my god, there's so many branches. I told you this was going to be a gravity horrible spot. I knew it. Just because of the previous spot. Okay, take him out. Just because he's in my way. I don't want him chasing me. And I guess we can just go back down this way now. Again, I don't care about these runes. If I lose them, I lose them. It's all good. We're just going to keep moving. Now I don't have to worry about the dumb item either. So I can probably just go, right? Like, let's just try to go. Mm -mm. Hi, buddies. What's this? What's this? Why is this over here? I'm not reading the messages. You know what? These guys are weak. Why don't I just attack them? I don't know why I did what I did. That was very stupid of me to get in the corner earlier. Now we just have to figure out, like, which way is the way to go. Oh, God. Is that just a normal bug, or is that like a super bug? What is that? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hello. Yeah, no, they're normal, they're normal. All right, die. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh my god. I hate these bugs. I hate these bugs. All right, we need to fight, though. We have to fight. We can't run from everything. That's not the purpose of the playthrough. Well, actually, walkthrough. If it was a playthrough, I could run. I would totally say running is a good idea, maybe. But they are weak. All right, we got another item. Let's go and get that. Oh, God, oh, God, okay, pick it up. Golden arrows. Oh, God. I know I'm missing stuff, by the way. I gotta be. There's no way around it. Okay, so over here. All right, I'm going down. The moment you decide to go down, you're... Commit it at that point. Item over there. No. What's all this? What is this area? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know where we are? Alrighty, we are actually on the bottom now. We've done it. Wow, man. I really never knew there was a top part of this area. That's crazy. Now, let me double check and make sure I'm actually on the bottom, but I'm pretty confident I am. Oh, yeah, that's where that one item is. So we're on the bottom. We can leave here. Screw that. Now, the other item that I forgot to get, I have known about, and I've gotten it before. I just completely forgot to grab it. And, well, let's just put it this way. I wasn't thinking about it when I did it. So let me look around. Which one is the right one? I think it's this one. We want to go to the sanctuary in the capital there is a legendary spear to get. Now, you might think, wait a minute, legendary spear with this build? Sounds great. And it is a cool spear. I like this spear a lot. The only downside to it is that it's a dexterity weapon. Actually, I take that back. That's not true. It is a quality weapon. It scales off of both strength and it scales off of dexterity. And what's even crazier is that it has lightning on it and it doesn't scale at all with faith. That's really weird to me. Normally, if you're talking about holy or lightning or something like that, it's going to scale with faith as well. Not in this case. 
I can't believe I like died 16 times to begin this episode. I was not expecting that. I'm popping one of these again. Probably won't die again. I'll knock on wood maybe. But we need to come down that elevator over there. Remember this spot? This is where that stupid invisible scarp was. There's a couple pyromancers. And there's also a crucible knight that was over here. Well, we already done all that. The thing I forgot to do is we can jump off the side over here. Very, very interesting. So if you look down there, you can actually see it. And yeah, that's a legendary. This will be the legendary spear. So we need to hop off. This is why you should always read messages, by the way. You gotta be a little bit careful about the way you hop off of here. Man, if gravity gets me again, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. Yeah, as long as you can land anywhere like that, even on the sides, that's fine. Because now you just walk up this. And we can get to the weapon. Pick it up. They better not be shooting me. I heard the bow. I knew they were. Leave me alone, dude. Chill for a second. Mm -mm. We're gonna jump down here. This is the great escape. Wait a minute, where am I? Alright, I know where I'm at. So now we can get over to the grace over here. We can get out of here. Again, that's a great weapon. It's a cool weapon. But for this particular build, I definitely think you want something that's gonna scale a lot with strength. And I really kind of think that this particular spear is your best option. So, let's go ahead and now head over here. So this is going to be the first place we're going to go to. On your map, you'll see the little circle. Now to get over there, it's best to kind of go from this particular grace. This is the grand lift right here. So we're going to just teleport over there. We got to go all the way around and we have to drop down and stuff. Now, there was like a camp over here. And we've already explored that and grabbed all the items there. You know what really sucks now? I have this stupid thing where it wants me to go pick up my runes. I'm gonna probably kill myself. Yeah, I think I probably will coming up here just so I can get rid of that off the map. That bothers me, it just does. Okay, I gotta kinda think about this for a second. So from the greys, we're looking for the cliff and you can see down there. Now just ride the horse until we can actually get over there. Now there is an item right here, let's pick that up. Oh my God, it's so fantastic. And now, let's just try to find a spot we can drop down. This looks good to me. If I die, I don't care. And let's go ahead and now come this way. I should have put a wave point on the map. I know where I'm going, but a wave point or a beacon would have been a good idea. But we need to cut through this kind of tunnel cave area. And we're going to go and fight this boss coming up. Pick that up. Watch out for these guys. They don't really matter much. Don't have to fight them, just go right past them. And we're gonna come on over here. This is gonna give us a legendary talisman, which is an interesting one. I don't know if I've ever really used it. It says something about it improves your charge attacks, or I don't know, I'll have to read it again to see. Let's go on inside. Remember, we can't not summon for this at all, so we're gonna wreck this guy, I just know it. You get the free hit in these jails, so just get ready to smack him up. But hey, look who it is! It's the first boss again. Nice. First real boss of the game. Oh, God! Well, I forgot about that. I should heal. What am I doing? You know what else I need to do? Okay, dude, chill for a second. There we go. Ow. I was gonna say I should definitely go ahead and use my mixed potion. That was dumb. Okay, we can block that. It is a physical attack, so that's all good. Let's start poking like crazy. Pay attention to the stamina at all times. That's the big thing. Now we need to try to maybe roll because the stamina was gone. Let it recharge. Get back in the fight. Start poking. He should fall down, to be honest. About halfway with your stamina, I would say, would be probably a good idea to stop and try to let it recharge a little bit. And make sure you back up on that attack. You don't want him to hit you in the back. And now I'm just going to go crazy again. Ow. See, that's what I'm talking about. In Dark Souls 1, we call that a dead angle. Where if you're blocking with your shield, you could actually get hit from behind. And of course, I knock him down right as he's dead. Perfect. But now we're going to get rewarded with this legendary talisman, which I need to take a look at. It's going to kick me out of here. What am I doing? And yeah. Okay. 
it said spells and skills. And that's the part that's really confusing to me. Because what is a charged skill? Is it this? Is this it? Is that charging up? I don't know. The spell I kind of understand. Because you can like hold down the button on a spell to charge it up. But on that, I'm not too sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here. Now there is one nighttime boss. There might be more, but I believe there's only one in this whole area that we haven't done yet. It's going to be one of these night riders. So let's go ahead and get that done now. And also, make it night real quick. I will talk about something over here because I accidentally got it. So there is a knight on a horse. It's just uh, one of the normal kind of knights. If you kill the guy on the horse, what's going to happen is he's going to drop a actual war for you. It's called like Earth Shaker, I believe. So make sure you grab that, kill that guy, get the actual war from him. But I've already done that, so that's why I have that thing on the map there. The little tree icon. Okay, you know the drill with these guys. Super easy for the most part. But let's see how the spear will perform on the horse. Because I was just talking about it. Okay, well his AI is very stupid. And yeah, he's got the flail, which I really don't like the ones with the flail that much just because they seem to hit me a lot more. Let him swing like that, try to get in there and get some hits off. Come here. Stop running from me! I'm the only one who can run. To be honest with you, the best thing to do here would be to get off and use the shield. The shield should wreck him. And I think I will at this point. I could just use the horse. But yeah, the pokes will wreck him if I can get the shield attack off though. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Block again. Do the shield hit again. Oh my god, you're so dead, dude. Come here. Die. And there we go. Now, to be consistent, let's make it daytime again. I literally was about to teleport. Then I thought about it and said, you know what? That would look really dumb. It's right here. Why not just walk to it? But let's go ahead and make it morning. We're going to be out here for a very long time. It's probably going to become night again six times in this video for all I know. But let's go ahead and hop off of there. It's kind of still nighttime when you make it morning, unfortunately. So I'm going to remove this just because, like I said, there is a knight on a horse. Make sure you kill him. And let's get rid of that as well. Now, I don't know what some of this stuff is. I'm going to be honest. I'll be reminded once I get over there. But if I have a marker on the map, that means that there's something over there. And it could be a big fat nothing. But I believe this is a camp of some sort. And it might be like a stone key. Who knows? It's probably something whack like that. But we're going to go get it. Watch out for these guys. Take them out. And there is a big one over here. Let's ride up on them. Yeah, I really love this weapon on the horse. I just think it's great. And let's look around. So there is an item. By the way, I generally try to do a pretty good job with my markers. I'm going to be honest. Because what I like to do. And this is the problem where there is a scarab I accidentally killed. I like to actually like ride right up over it the area and then i just put the marker right on top of it that way it's like no brainer so to be honest with you oh my god get out of the air if you're looking at my map and you pause the video to like see where these things are if you could put a waypoint kind of where i'm showing on the map you should be good to go so yeah right over here oh there is something we should do real quick let's go do that we're gonna return to the round table now i've been saving this and I don't know if you have, I've talked about this before, I'm going to talk about it again. There is this guy over here, we can talk to him, and we might have to reset this area, I'm not sure. He's got a whole little quest, and let's make sure that we get that started now. Because I told you don't worry about giving him a prayer book at all, then yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'd never talk to him, I have never talked to him. But what's going to happen is when you have talked to him, if you keep talking to him, and I keep talking about talking, he is going to leave and go find this guy called the Gold Mask. Now, I think that's it. He just brought it up, kind of. So if we reset the area again, let's see if he's here. No, he gone. So now let's go ahead and go back to that spot. And this is where we're going to find him. 
So it's going to be just over here. First, we want to go get this other item. And then we'll go and find him. We can talk to him. Now, every time we find him, he's going to have new spells. So if you want to buy all of his spells, go for it. The first time I actually cut it ahead, I'm going to kill myself. So I'm just telling you right now. Okay, let me go ahead and put my beacon down right over there. Now, we have went to that church that's up here, so there's no need to do that. We have gotten this golden seed that's over here. But down here, yeah, this is a freaking nightmare. There's three of these ogre guys. So it would be very smart to try to sneak up on them. But of course, you can always just run right up to them and do this. If you're cool. <laughs> and now, oh, that's a crap! Do this attack again. These guys are so weak to the shield. It's amazing. There we go. Got those two. There's another one right over there. Let's pick that up. Oh my god, that was so worth it, right? Had to go get that. Now, I don't know about fighting this guy on the horse just because these guys are so aggressive and they hit hard and stuff. That's what I mean by aggression. Like, you see how he just attacks and then he attacks and then he attacks and then he attacks? It's crazy. But now, we need to go to where the map was. So if we follow this road over here, this is going to take us to where the map is. And look who it is. It's our buddy. Let's go and talk to him. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I don't know if I recommend you do the same, but let's pop one of these. That's a nice little chunk of runes. And I'm going to try to buy all his stuff. So let's go ahead and do all of this. Thank you very much. Again, he's going to have more stuff later every time we find him. And we can ask about this gold mask guy. And I believe we have to find him and then we have to tell him where he's at. And this is another one of these quests. I've never done this quest before. So I'm just winging it right now. I kind of know a little bit about it though. Let's remove that. Now I do want to come over here, but there's really no reason to. There might be a couple items. I don't know. There is a merchant over here. I don't remember the merchant having anything good. So yeah, I'm not going to waste the time to go over there. But this is something you can do. You can go up this road, and then you're going to be on the top part of this bridge. Wait a minute. Let me go over there. Because there might have been an item on top of that bridge. That's the only thing. I'm trying to remember. Maybe I forgot to put the marker down. I swear there was an item up there. But yeah, if you just follow this road, you're going to come up to this grace over here. And the merchant and all that. I'm just going to ignore these guys. By the way, the rule about fighting the enemies... I'm not following that rule in the open world. I don't believe in that. There is another one of these finger crones or whatever. Oh, yeah, there's a teleporter over here. Okay, well, the teleporter could be a little bit useful, but let's actually drop down here and grab the item. I could actually just teleport back to the grace. I think that's going to be a good move. Let's do that. Golden arrow. Amazing. Let's make this jump over here. Oh, my God, I'm not jumping. Oh, thank God. That's frightened me. I was gonna fall let's just check this out over here what is down here I could swear there's like a piece of armor or something around here okay maybe not okay it might oh yeah it's it's there over there that's where we need to go all right I'm gonna go back and then we're gonna hit the teleporter now this teleporter is gonna take us to where this gold mask guy is so let's go ahead and do that because that makes a lot of sense and then we can go back and tell the guy about it, and he's going to go back over there, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. At that point, I don't really know what to do for that quest. We'll figure it out as we go. So I'm over here now. Before we go talk to this guy, right by the bridge, right? Just over here. We're going to make our way, because this is kind of hidden. My marker's not very good, because I didn't really want to get close to this. I didn't want to mess this up. But, like, somewhere over here, there is a mage. I hear it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it is. Never mind. My marker was perfect. Yeah, this is a strong mage, too. Oh, my God. No, I'm dead. Okay, I don't know how I'm not dead, but that was amazing. This thing is strong, man. All right, you're getting poked to death. Mm -mm. Stop. Pick that up, and, yeah, you can get the whole set of armor. Pretty cool. Now, let's go on the bridge. And at the end of the bridge... We'll find this guy. By the way, on my very first playthrough, I went over here exploring, seen this dude, and I immediately killed him. 
Because I thought it was an enemy. Like, I really did. I'm sorry, that looks like an enemy to me, right? Pick that up. Let's talk to him. He's not gonna say nothing. Very creepy stuff, obviously. But now we can go talk to that other guy. I'm gonna get rid of that marker on the map. Same with this one over here. And let's get rid of that. And let me go ahead and go back to the guy now, so... Just to progress his quest, we will come back to that area to explore that side of the map. So when I go back over there, I'll then progress that guy's quest from over there. But first, we just have to tell him that we found the guy. And he's going to go and find him himself. So let's just go ahead and head up the road now. I'm going to kill these guys out of my way. A lot of fun. Now we're going to go talk to this dude. What up, buddy? How you doing? And tell him about where he's at. Make sure you do all the dialogue. I think that's good. Just in case, let's talk to him again. Yeah, we are good. So now, I am going to go ahead and cut this ahead. I'm going to kill myself. But before, I'm going to show you where we're going to go. Now, we've already explored this spot over here. And in the last episode, we took this road coming up here to head to this shaded castle. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go in here. And one of the reasons why is I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong about this. By the way, I did not actually do a practice run for this. I went and found all this stuff and I said, I'm just gonna wing it. Because I have done every one of these places. I've done this whole area like twice. So I should remember most of it, but I'm a little worried I might mess up here and there. You never know. But I kinda remember this. And that is, these two tunnels, they actually have the same name. And you want to do this one first because there's an enemy. And if you come into this one, you can't actually do anything against the enemy. Unless you have a bow or something like that. But if we come in this one, we can actually kill that enemy. Which is nice for later when we explore this one. So let's get this one done now. And technically, this is a part of the capital outskirts. I mean, to be honest, all of this probably is too, but I'm just not counting that because reasons. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Well, we did drop down from the top before, which there was nothing up there. But we don't need to do that again. But let's go ahead and now explore this tunnel. And look at this. There is a lot of crafting materials. Yay! Zombies in here as well. Hey, buddy. Okay, that sucks. They bounce off. Well, if you're gonna bounce off, I'm gonna kill your dog first. I'm just gonna shield crash you. Goodbye. Give me that stuff. And let me pick that up as well. And let's keep going. So yeah, this one has multiple floors. I kind of remember this. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this up. We'll climb up the ladder first. And then I'll decide on how I want to do this. I'm going to go over here first before we drop down. Let's just check this out. First, let's come inside. Bunch of dogs in here, but I'm just blocking and poking. Pick that up. And now we got this guy coming after us. Come on, bounce off. Do that. You're dead. And with these dudes, I'm just shield crashing them. Get them out the way. Because I don't want to have two hand against them. Remember, though, you can always two-hand if you want to now bounce off. Pick that stuff up on the walls. And because this is a tunnel, there's going to be this stuff on the wall as well. So make sure you pick all that up. And I'm just kind of looking around. I guess at this point, we can jump down. How does somebody die? That's crazy to me. How are these people dying? Like... Okay, they must be getting killed by the enemies. That fall is not far enough to kill you. There's no way. Okay, I guess I will two-hand. Just take that one out. I don't want to use up all my FP. And I did pick up something on the wall there. And let's see. Well, there's a ladder, but we're hopping down because this is not far enough to die. Oh, yeah. You know what? That's what it is. They fall down. They get killed by this guy. And, yeah, he's got golden eyes. Mm-mm. Get out of my way. You die too. Give me your items. Thank you very much. Hey, buddy. Do that. Now I'm just going to poke you. Come on. One more poke and you're dead. There we go. We got some dogs in here. Take that one out. Take this one out. 
And I will definitely look behind this area because I knew it. There is a smithing stone back there. Now let's go ahead and pick that up. Hey, that's nice. So another smithing stone back there. And let's take this guy out. He's got the stuff on his back, so if you set him on fire, he will blow up. Pretty cool. And what else do we have? We got the item in here. Be careful in the corners. Okay, we're good. And I'm not going to worry about all this crafting stuff. I don't know what it is, but I have that like impulse to always pick it up. I feel like this is the correct way to go. What does the message say? Okay, well, let's be careful. There's an ambush. Where are they? Oh, dogs. Take one out. And is that it? I think that's it. You know what? Yeah, this is going to work good. So you can always do that. Make them bounce off and then just counter them. That works fantastic. And I guess this is not the right way to go because, yeah, it's just some items back there. So that was good to come back there first. Now let's head back. And the enemy I'm talking about, I don't know how to describe this enemy. Like, I don't know. When you see it, you'll know what I mean. But they're annoying because they have range and stuff. Is this the same way? Yeah, that's the same way. And if you don't take out this enemy first, when we go in the other tunnel, it's like way more annoying. Okay. Never mind. This is not the tunnel then. I was wrong. Huh. Unless I'm thinking after the fact. See, now I don't know which tunnel it is. I know, like, you can take it out, though. Well, that sucks. We'll see. But we're going to kill this boss now. And we can't summon. I'm not set up for the Black Knife, but I am set up for the Mimic. So the Mimic can come on out. Let me drink this, too. I don't know why I'm doing all this. You know what's going to happen here. This guy's going to get wrecked. Yeah, mess him up. Looks like he bounced off, though. Oh my god, the shield. Look at the shield! The shield is OP, man. And... Is there a secret back here, maybe? Nope. Okay, well that really throws me off because, like I said, I really wanted to go and do that other tunnel first to make sure I kill this... Centipede? I don't know what you call this. Like, this gravity enemy. Let me think about it. It wouldn't be in there. Oh, is it here, maybe? You know what? It might be here, to be fair. Just because, logically, it would have to be connected between these two tunnels. When I was looking at this, I thought, there's no way these two tunnels are connected, right? That'd be crazy. All right, so I'm going to show you how to get over here. But we have this staircase up here. This is where we're going to have some enemies, the Golden Sentinels. It's like a gank fight. I'll show you how to do that fight, though. It's very easy. But first, let's come back over here, and we're going to make our way up, but we're going to go to the left. This is a pretty hidden little cave here, but get on the horse, and let's ride on over. And yeah, when you're going to fight the Golden Sentinels, make sure you're going to do it from behind them. That's kind of like the secret to make it a lot easier, because you can actually draw them out one at a time if you go behind them. If you try to like just go up the steps, though... Yeah, you're asking for trouble there. Also, there's going to be a giant rune bear over here, so be ready for that. Plus, we actually do have some normal bears as well. Take that one out. And do I want to fight the rune bear? You know the answer is no, but you know what? Maybe it's a yes, because I can summon. Summoning sounds really good for this. Let's actually fight him. Come on, Mimic! And you know what I'm going to do, too. I'm going to hop off this freaking horse. There's no way I'm going to fight this thing on the horse. I do not recommend it. He's going to knock me off instantly. I'm going to block. I'm going to do my shield attack. Come on, bleed him. Okay, didn't work yet, but next hit will. Come on, get it off. The lock on sometimes is awful. One more. Get him. All right, I'm poking you to death now. Mimic, stop doing that attack. That attack is so awful, please. Why you gotta be like that? And he gone! Okay, <laughs> wow. Didn't expect him to just come out for the rune bear and be like, bye. But now we're gonna come up here. And this cave is hidden because it's over here and it's like to the left. It's very easy to accidentally not see that. But technically, 
You could come up this way. You have to deal with the rune bear, which is a problem. But if you can avoid that, then you could actually get over here and get through the door without having to go through all those archers, if you remember that. Well, you know what? Never mind. We've never actually done that before, now that I think about it. Because I was really smart when I first started this. What I did was, if I remember right, I went here, and then I went up, and then I went around. That way we didn't have to deal with that crap. Well, that was pretty good. Okay, so hopefully this enemy is in here, and we can take it out now. And this is a cave, though. It's not a tunnel. Let's put our lantern on. And I have done this place a couple times. I've done all these places in the capital outskirts, like, at least twice. But I'm going to have to see this to remember it, because... I mean, the name makes me think there's going to be a bunch of those pyro guys with the dust. Because that is what they're called. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them in here. Which also makes me think that this is not the spot. All right. You know this is going to suck, right? All right. Get behind this guy. And they're already trying to hit me with their dust. What's over here? I'm coming over here real quick. Okay, wait. No, wait. I'm about to say, I better be able to get back up. This cave is a lot larger now that I see this. I thought it was, like, smaller than that. Hey, come on, man. Come down. Come down, please. Don't stay up there. There you go. Now, don't block me either. Die. Pick that up. Look at all this juicy crafting stuff. Give it all to me. And... Got a giant flower over here. And there is a pyro guy. Jump attack! Oh my god, I wrecked him! What is this? This is frenzy, isn't it? This is totally frenzy. No, it's poison. Alright. I'm cool with poison. Just poison me. Get it over with. I accept the poison. I don't care. Bleed. Nice. And one of the reasons I would say don't care about the poison is because I just seen a second ago there's another one. So we're going to have to deal with another one anyway. But let's drink our little drink. Let that regen kick in. Pick up all this stuff. And that's it for that little part. So now, let's come over here. Probably going to chug. Wow, that poison's going down really fast. What? That poison was like off of me instantly. That's really weird. Okay, be careful, obviously, because of that. Right there. Take him out. I'm just kind of looking around. Ow, no. Little plants need to die real quick. Take them out. Come on. Oh, that's not a little plant. That's a big plant. What am I doing? Alright, you know he's going to do the poison here. We're going to get poisoned again. It's all good, though. You just need to be killed. There we go. Yeah, I don't remember poison going away that fast. Did they update the game and I didn't... I'm not aware of that? Like, what? What? Okay, well, I, I'm i cool with that. Hopefully rot goes away that quick, but I doubt it. It seems like the poison's way stronger, though. Look how much it's like, it's ticking down my health. Unless this is a, something else, this is not poison on me. I don't know what else it would be. Yep, this is the one with the enemy that I'm talking about. And you know what sucks about this, though? It's gravity. Gravity sucks, because he's going to knock me off this cliff. Okay, watch out. He actually has gravity himself. Shoot the rocks at me. Oh my god, I'm so scared of this. I am so scared of this, and I can't hit him. Alright, come on. Come and smack me. There we go. Nice, big, juicy hit on him. Make sure, if you're going to do what I'm doing right now, stand as like far forward as possible so when he does that, he won't actually knock you off. So I'm literally walking to the edge. And yeah, this works like a charm. Just do your guard counter. And he did. There we go. Alright, you see that over there, though? That is an area that we're going to go to in the other tunnel. And there's stuff over there. Which, this enemy isn't a big deal. Only because you can grab all that stuff and just keep moving. But if you can take him out first, much, much better. So I wanted to definitely do that. Alright, and we're at the boss. Awesome. We got some flowers over here. Take him out. A lot of items. Now the question is, what is going to be this boss? I'm going to say it's going to be one of the Pyromancer guys or something, right? It's got to be. Better not be a flower. That would be really weird. All right, let's go on inside. 
And yeah, it's actually a flower and one of those guys. I'm trying to chuck quickly. Ow. Oh my god, bro. Like, why you got to do that? Oh, yeah. Watch out. That's the plant doing its shenanigans on me. Chug. And yeah, this guy is weak. Wow, man. Stop doing that. Like, come on. What are you doing, Mimic? That attack is so bad. He almost got it off, though, to be fair. Like, he was really close to getting that attack off, but it's so slow that I killed the guy before it was able to get off. And I can't believe they really just gave me that weapon. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure I have three of those now. I think in the last episode, I got two of them. Where would that be? Yeah, look at this. Like, what's the point of this? Okay. Well, the point of coming down here, though, I would say is to at least take out that guy. So now we're going to go over here to this outer wall phantom tree and let's take out the two sentinels. And I'll try to show you how to do this. Hopefully I don't mess it up. But basically, if you just turn around, there's the open door over here. Let's go ahead and come on over here. I don't think you can summon for this, but if you can, that would be interesting. But what you can do is you can actually draw one to you and then just run back. Oh, you can summon. Well, if you can summon, this might be a little bit easier. But of course, the point is to try to do this without actually having them both get on me at the same time. So here's what you do. Walk back through the door. There is a despawn point. Oh, yeah. OK, well, the mimic's going to disappear if I do that. Well, I'm going to say you don't have to do that because if you give it enough time, the other sentinel has already walked down like the steps. So just don't go down there. You should be fine. But the despawn point is very interesting. If you're really weak, and I've done this before when I've been really weak, under leveled, and yet I was able to wreck these guys, no problem. Okay, they're both on me now. That's not good. But doing that little strat by despawning them works like a charm. It really does. Because all you got to do is just lure them over there and you can actually get a hit off like just run in do like a jump attack or something and then run away they'll chase you and just keep doing that because their health doesn't like refill when they despawn at least it used to not be like that i assume it's still the same way but who knows now if you're wondering why would i ever want to do that at a really low level like why would i want to fight these guys when i'm super low level well there's a big reason why it's going to be what they drop what they dropped was, and it's still a very good shield in the game, but this thing is the shield I was talking about, where it was ridiculously overpowered if you used the spell that would put you on fire. Okay, they also drop a hero rune, which is pretty cool. Now let's go over there and get that item. But yeah, that shield is amazing, because if you're able to spam it, the attack is a ranged attack that only drains your stamina. And what's even crazier is that it just did so much damage. I mean, it would wreck. And it was really good in PvP, too. Like, if somebody invaded you or something in co-op, if you did that, especially if you and your friend did that, they stood no chance because you just can't dodge the endless barrage of that attack from that shield. Okay, so over here, there is a mini boss. So let's be ready for that. I'm going to chug, actually. I should maybe consider setting up my black knife. So here comes the mini boss. I already hear it. It kills all the enemies. One of these guys. We can summon again, so let's summon again. Why not? My god, my health. I need to double chug real quick. He's already blowing up? Uh, excuse me. Uh, that's the grab, isn't it? Yeah, that's the grab. Make sure you dodge that. Okay, get right up on him so he can't hit us as well. Do some shield attacks. Don't know if he bleeds, I assume he does. That's the grab, he got the Mimic. Poor Mimic. Now whenever someone in co-op or whenever your summon gets grabbed, you can't do any damage. So don't waste your FP or anything trying to hit him when that happens. So I'm just trying to get close to him again. Do our shield attack again. Come on. Are you gonna blow up? Yeah, you're blown up, I knew it. Oh my God, I blocked it. That's the coolest thing about Shield Crash, is that you block as you attack, and I... What am I doing? I don't have my potions equipped. That's one of those things I talked about, like, at the very start of the series, he got the Mimic again. Is you really don't want to have a lot of stuff on your hotbar, 
because it's very easy to accidentally have the wrong thing equipped and if you do it can get you killed in a heartbeat you're trying to heal yourself you're panicking and the whole time you can't heal yourself because you have the wrong thing like on your hop bar selected it really sucks okay he drops a golden seed it doesn't matter that's a really awesome fun weapon it's a giant hammer it scales really well with strength i believe it's like an s and i so badly wanted to make a build where i could dual wield those hammers and i did a little bit it wasn't very good i'm gonna be honest i don't think it was a viable build but man it was kind of fun so again let me show you the map just in case because i know i don't want to do this either i don't want to just quickly pull up the map and put a marker down and go i want you to be able to see exactly where i'm at so this is where i was for that now we're going to come over here. There is a grace over here and a church. So we're going to just head on over there. Pick up those items. And we have another dungeon coming up. And this dungeon actually is a divine tower. Which I don't know if I have the great rune for it. I can't remember which one it is. But we are going to actually go up there and just check. Who knows? Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Whatever. We'll have it in the future though. Take that guy out real quick. And up here, we can pick up this item. And we can pick up this item, which is going to be a seal. So we got that now. Make sure you like the grace. And we're pretty much done with that. And watch out for the enemies. Let me unmark that. So down here, you can see the little icon for the tunnel. I'm not trying to fast travel to the tunnel. Okay, we actually have to go all the way over here. Let me put a marker down there because this is not the spot you can't drop down it's too far up but we need to go down the hill a little bit and then we will be where we need to go there's also an invisible scarab down here which this one isn't so bad because i'm pretty sure there's a really easy spot you can stand and take it out no problem so i'm going to try to do that but just keep riding down and we're going to just get right here and there is Scarab down there. I think that's it for items, though. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Scarab's the only thing that actually matters. But I'll take a look as well. Hop on down. You know what? No, there actually is more items, I believe. What's this? Let me guess. Is it a dog? Oh, no. What? Dog? Come on. Somebody's got to put the dog. No, not I failed. Where is it? Dog. Yeah, why is it always a dog? Man, I'm telling you. So funny. All right, so this is a spot right here. If you just chill right here. Oh, hello. Take out these stupid slugs. Get out of here. But this thing will come through here. Oh my God, don't come through yet. I'm dealing with the slugs. I can't hit them. Come on. I bragged on you, Spear. Don't let me down now. And here it comes. Let's get ready to swing. Ooh crap well i'm stupid slug get out of here oh my god i cannot hit these things they're so awkward dude i can't hit it there we go i might get off no 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 no, no. what am i doing get off the freaking horse there we go okay um come on come on come on yeah, got him there you go but yeah if you stand right there the problem with this weapon of course is that it doesn't really have a good aoe to it I'm going to check over here, but I don't think there's anything over here. It's really just a wind that will take us back up top. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Let's leave, and we will make our way to this dungeon, which is a tunnel, but it's like a tunnel with a lot of invisible walls that will eventually take us to a divine tower. So that's pretty cool. And I do think there might be a couple items over here. I didn't mark them on the map because I thought, nah, there's no reason to do that. But I could be thinking of something else. Um, yeah, I don't see anything right now, so I guess there's not. I could swear. Oh, no, okay, I remember now. If you are using, like, a map or something like that, and you're trying to find stuff, one of the issues is that sometimes, like, when you're looking at the map, it will say, like, there's a billion, like, I don't know, smithing stones or something, and there's not. The reality is, is that all of those items are actually inside of the dungeon. So I think that's what I'm thinking of right now. Okay. Visible wall here. Let's go on through. There is a death machine in here. I remember that. Death machine. Freaking something else. Hello. I'll bounce off. I don't care. 
Let's look around. What's down here? Make sure we pay attention to the walls. Oh, watch out. These little guys. They think they're sneaky, huh? Is there another one? I could swear there was two, but alright. Guess not. Open that up. Pick this up. That's nice. That's super nice. You definitely want those. Those bells. Because that's how you can buy the smithing stones from the merchant. And ow. Whatever. Okay, so there is one over here. I'm just going to two-hand. What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, charge it up. No, 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 no. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to do this. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, oh, my God. I actually got him. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. got him. Amazing. Slowest attack in the whole game. Get wrecked full. Now let's come on over here. And, yeah, I don't think they're going to attack me unless I attack them or if I steal their stuff. But, you know how it is. They got to die. Come on. There we go pick up all the stuff now and I'm gonna just do this of course you can always backstab these guys hey that works like a charm but who wants to backstab come on it's no fun in that let me just double check real quick anything else no luckily most of these places are pretty small wait what yeah I'm about to say like where do I go though there's definitely like a hidden path oh it's over here so this is the hidden path over here boom now, that's the thing about this place when you're in here, like, it's, you have a pretty good chance of, like, coming in here and then not realizing that there's all these secrets and stuff, so you just walk out. Which way is the way to drop down? There's always a way. That does not look safe to me. I'm sorry. None of this really looks safe to me. My God. All right, well, we're just going down, and where am I now? Well, there's something on the wall there. Dude, this sucks. Oh, this sucks really bad. Where am I? I do not feel safe at all. Okay, I definitely feel like if I try to make that jump, I'm dead. And to be honest with you, I kind of feel like I'm dead regardless. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again to gravity. Oh my god, I panicked. Oh, but I'm alive. How am I alive? This is crazy. Alright, jump down here. I'm not gonna die now to gravity, I don't think. So let's just hop down. And you see what it is, right? Like, there is... I can't use this. There is something on the wall there, a smithing stone. I want to get it, but at the same time, I don't care about it personally, so I really don't want to, but let's see. Maybe you can just jump off right here and grab it. That might be the best way of doing this. Just take the elevator down. Now, where was it? Okay, now I don't see it. Now, there it is. Oh, God. All right, I'm up here now. Hop down, grab that, and how do we get down? Here we go. You got to do the jump here for sure, so jump. And let's jump again. Probably could walk off there. And there we go. Now we're down. Again, look at this. Another invisible wall. So many of them. It's crazy. And hey, we're at the end of the dungeon, I guess. Oh, no, we're not. Another invisible wall. And this is the room of the death machine. And oh, God. This room is just fun. So hop on down here. Hello. Get out of my way. The guy is waking up. Pretty sure. Okay, never mind. Take him out, grab the item. This isn't because of the wall, is it? Okay. Take this one out as well. Poke you to death. Oh my god, I actually got their outfit. You know what would be really funny? And of course, they didn't do this. But if you got their outfit and you put it on and it's like really tiny and it doesn't fit, that would have been hilarious. I would have loved that. Let's take this guy out. He's got golden eyes. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Well, cool. Let's head down this way. And this is the way to go. Yes, it is, actually. Wait, what? Maybe it's not. Can you just drop down? Okay, I don't want to mess this up, but I'm pretty sure you can go that way and drop down, maybe. But we got to go down to where the death machine is. Now, there is actually one of these where we have to break it so obviously we need the death machine for that where are you death machines in the corner come and murder me please over here come on oh god you're one of the ones that like to open up aren't you come on over come on he's gonna try to grab me immediately after this so i need to be careful break the thing thank you i'm in a corner death there we go shield crash oh wow i'm doing good damage great damage do another shield crash. There we go. 
And one more hit, you're dead, but I'm getting wrecked, my god. This is what I mean by the death machine. It's not fun here. There we go. And let's pick this up. Awesome. And grab the rest of the stuff. Give me that. What's over here? Okay, well, we got this thing on the wall here. What does it say? <sighs> Screw you. Necessary? That's not necessary. You don't need a five. I guess this is a spot you can come early, maybe? To get a five if you need one really badly? But wait a minute, how do I get out of here? Is it a ladder? Oh, there is a ladder! Okay. Alright, so I guess you do have to drop down in that one spot, because I don't see another way of, like, progressing down there. So we're just going to drop down, and when we get to the other side of that tree or whatever, we can pick up that item that's over there. And I think the boss is coming up, but again, I'm pretty sure there's more invisible walls. And at the very, very end, we're going to find the Divine Tower. So let's hop on down here and head back, and then we will drop down. But I'm pretty sure this is the end. But let's see if I'm wrong or, or what. Oh god, hello. Mm -mm. Pick that up. Are you gonna blow up too? No, no. They always will drop like a bunch of garbage. So if you want to pick that garbage up, go for it. I'm not going to though. It's some crafting stuff. Oh god, no. Nah. I'm getting blown up. Yep. Give me that. Not really worth it, but this is what I mean. It's the rune fragments. It's just a crafting material thing. Uh-uh, get out of there. Oh my god. <sighs> Give me that, and I'll take your garbage. And yeah, this is another invisible wall. We got something as well to pick up there. Let's hit the wall. Oh my god. Why didn't that blow the door open? Come on. Is this the boss? Oh god! There's more! We just have to drop down though. Just jump on over here. Pick that up. Now we can drop down to this branch. Drop down again. Oh! I did not feel like I was about to make that. Pretty sure it would have been safe though. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, hey guys! How you doing? Cool. Alright, so we're almost there. I think there actually is a grace, like, after this boss. Just check the corners. No, don't see nothing. Alright. What is this boss? Oh, man. Okay. This is awesome. Like, I was playing around with this one legendary weapon, and it's a cool one. It's a great sword. And the great sword basically lets you dual. Like, you can have one sword equipped. It's actually an ultra great sword. It looks like a curved sword though. You might know what I'm talking about. It's like a magic sword. And I had like a build with that. And man, that was so much fun because I had an awesome clip. I came in here and I summoned the mimic. And then like there is like an ultimate like attack on it. Like the Ash of War. It's just a really badass Ash of War. And it does like this super nuke move. And it was crazy because the Mimic did it at the exact same time I did it. The guy was full health and literally he just got completely one shot it by me and the Mimic. But it was just so cool because it was literally the exact same time we both did it. Okay, so this is the Divine Tower. Let's see what's going on in here. Hopefully we can actually mess around with a great rune in here because we did get one for the volcanic manor and i'm trying to remember there is another divine tower that we can get to i'm going to show you real quick and that is all the way over here wait i don't have it on the map oh yeah i do it's this the tower return i think but yeah there's like a portal and it takes you to a spot like over in the capital area yeah it's actually right here so basically there's a point where you can activate a great rune over there as well but i don't know which boss that is so let's come on up here interact with this i'm gonna say that if the rune is up here it's probably the volcanic manor guy that would be my guess but let's just take a look 
What's in here? Yes! Okay. Well, actually, it's, it's about to tell us what it is, so we will know exactly. Which one is this one? Oh, yeah! That's the Volcanic Manor guy. It took me a second. Like, I made a face. Like, wait, what? Because I just, I forgot his name. And now, we can actually take a look and see what that does. I did say, I think in the last episode, maybe, that I was going to look at the other Great Rune that I activated in that episode. I never did. Oops, my bad. But we will take a look. Again, I kind of like this one I got. I'm just going to be straight with you. Okay, so this one, that's not bad, okay? You get some HP back when you kill enemies. Pretty cool. But to me, if I'm low health, I'm chugging. That's just the reality of it. This one isn't bad either. It gives you like HP, FP, and stamina. But see, the problem with this one is that it's kind of like the same as this. If you use this, you get five in all of your freaking attributes. So it's kind of similar. I do think this is stronger though. You do get more HP, more FP, and stamina. But I just prefer this one. And then finally this one, which just gives you a ton of HP. But don't really need it that bad. And it's not going to make a huge, huge difference. All right, so we're done with that now. We can get rid of that little marker there. And we have another mini boss coming up. It's going to be over here. Plus, wait a minute. I can get rid of that too. But we do have a couple items over here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this outer wall phantom tree. And I am going to cut this ahead. So I'm going to see you guys in a moment. All righty. It's nighttime again. I knew this was going to happen. Let's make it morning. And then we got to go up these steps. There's going to be this mini boss, but it shouldn't be a problem. Let me go ahead and show you on the map. We need to come up here and then I'm going to put my beacon here because this is actually where we want to go. To be honest, though, this is better. So I'm going to put the beacon right there on top of those steps and let's follow it. Now, there could be an item on the right or the left. Maybe not. I don't know. But the point is this is that if you want to check it out, you can let me know. But if there is something, it's probably a big nothing item. So as we come up here, here comes a gargoyle. Oh, no. I did set this up, so now I can actually summon the Black Knife again. Awesome. I'm getting smacked, of course. And Black Knife starts off awesome, but misses, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Let's try to get in close. And that does push you away. You can always do that, by the way. When you get an opportunity, do your jumping R2. It's always really nice. No matter what the weapon we're talking about, it's good. But I really do like it a lot on this Great Spear. I think it's awesome. So I'm trying to get in close, and that's going to push me away again. Or it's going to hit me. Cool, cool, cool. Let's chug. Oh my god, Black Knife, you're so awesome! Keep doing that attack, just spam it. Because I can't hit this guy. I can never hit these guys. I mean, look at that back step. Isn't that back step insane? I mean, what is that? Just roll through that. Alright, I'm poking you, dude. You're getting on my nerves. Let my stamina come back. Come on, Black Knife, do the attack one more time, and he's a goner. I would really appreciate that, because I can't hit this guy. Well, I got him in a corner, kind of. No, I don't. He's out immediately. Let's do it. Oh, my God, I can't hit him. Just honestly, Black Knife, carry me, please. That's what's happening here. I'm literally being completely carried. Okay, one more hit. Jumping R2. Got him. And, yeah, there we go. We got another weapon. Let's call the horse, and we'll follow the beacon. Let me take a quick look. You see what I'm talking about over here, Don? This might be a bunch of crafting materials, but, I mean, look at this. I mean, in fact, that's a lot of butterflies. Holy crap. That's a ton. But I thought there was an item over here. Now, maybe not, actually. I don't know. But we're going to have a scarab coming up. It's one of those invisible ones. No, it's not invisible. It's a really fast one. And you're going to want to do this a certain way. I know this just because I have, like, struggled against getting this thing a couple times, and then I realized, oh, I'm just an idiot, and there's a very easy way of doing it. So come all the way up the steps. Let's take out these guys. We do have an item up here, and this, well, is a crash. Well, that was really interesting. I haven't had Elden Ring crash on me for practically ever. Hmm. Where am I? 
Oh my god! See, this is what I'm talking about. This game is very strange, especially when I think about some of the other FromSoft games. I'm used to them like constantly auto-saving, but I want to say that, yeah, none of that over there got auto-saved. All the enemies are back. Well, that's cool. But you do not want to spook that scarab. That's the big thing here. Is that guy really going to call all the enemies with the horn? Well, let's go ahead and come all the way back up top. Don't crash again, please. I hope it's not like the spot or something. And let's take out all the guys. That did scare me, by the way, just because of my crappy PlayStation. Now, that's not a problem right now, but anytime the game does anything like that, I'm like, oh, God. In fact, I have PTSD when it comes to black screens. Like, a game will just go to black for a loading screen. I'm like, oh, no. What's going on? And it's like, oh, it's fine. It's just a loading screen. Okay, so come up here like I'm doing now, and then we could stop like right here, and we're going to be directly above the scarab. So, if you lock on from up here, you should be able to do a jump and then R2 and hit it. Now, if I miss this, I'm going to feel like a dumb dumb, but let's try it. Got him! Very, very easy, and that is the golden parry, which is awesome. Definitely looks cool, there's no doubt about that. But now we can hop on our horse. And I think there is an item. In fact, there's definitely multiple items probably around here. So I'm going to miss something. I'm just pointing that out now. There is this. I'm going to get rid of it now. But right in this spot, there should be an item. I don't know what it was, but I picked it up and put that marker down. So make sure to check that out up there. But let me actually look around real quick just because I know there's a lot of stuff. Now... Okay, I remember I did kill that boss in this area. There is a boss and We did actually kill it because we have kind of explored this spot a little bit when we were doing the dung eater Now let's come up here should be an item probably up here. Yes, there is take out the bat Pick that up. Okay, that's kind of worth grabbing. Oh, yeah, the big one actually dropped another golden runes. So that's cool but, again, there might be more. In fact, I see something up there. You see what I'm talking about? There's tons of little tiny items scattered around. What is this? Give me that. Just crafting material, but whatever. We'll take it. Now, now we're coming up to where this grace is up here. Oh, I should have showed you on the map exactly where that golden rune was, but I didn't have it marked. Well, I'm just going to guess, and I should be able to tell you. Ow! I'm going to rest real quick at the grace. Just so that I stop the enemies from attacking me. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the map now. So that item was like here. So definitely, if you want to go get that, go get it. Let me get rid of this on the map right now. Now, we've already been up here before. And there was like a couple nighttime bosses. We've already done that. There was like the deaf bird thing over here. And we had one of those bell bearer guys over here. So we've done all that. There's a couple items scattered around. Now, there is an item all the way up there that we want to go get. But let me quickly look. I'm pretty sure one of the reasons I picked up that one item was because I didn't want to do this in the video. But let me look around up here. There might be something I left on purpose. But again, if you want to take your, the time to look through all of this, you can. There's probably something scattered around here somewhere. There's actually a path that goes down, and there's like a giant guy over there. But yeah, I'm not going to keep going. There's no reason. So let's actually head up top, and we're going to head to that tree. Now, there's no boss over there, so we don't have to worry about that. I do think there's some enemies, though. But there is a super boss enemy coming up. And I call it the super boss because this is the way that you're supposed to get into the capital coming up over here. So be prepared for that. Also, we have some giants, and they're going to have bows, and this part can be kind of annoying. Now, there are going to be some items scattered around over here as well, so I'm going to see if I can pick them up. Don't even worry about those guys, because the giants are going to kill them with the bow. You really kind of want to rush these enemies. Okay, so here's an item here. Let's try to pick that up. Okay, and try to get on the giant right away. Luckily, he's pretty slow. I'm hopping off, though. Come on, do the big damage. Oh, my God. 
That damage is big. Stop stomping. Uh, I can't see anything with this crappy lock on. Poke, poke. I'm getting stomped on. All right, one more shield crash. Should take him out, it did. Watch out for the other one trying to shoot us the entire time. And I'm 95% sure there is another small item somewhere over here. Rush in. Ow. Try to get some hits off like this. Okay, yeah, that's working good, actually, to be honest. Like, their feet just take so much damage when they have, like, that orange. It's insanity. I wrecked them. Now, let's see. Oh, there's another one here. I don't really want to fight that one. If he doesn't have a bow, I'm not really too concerned about him. Okay, here's the other item I was talking about. And now let's go up there to where the tree is and we can actually go grab the item up here. This is something for the mixed potion. And I don't actually know what it is, to be honest. I'll have to take a look at it later on. I'm cutting to the left. Yes, what is, oh my God, that's one of those fat guys. Oh, what is this? This is super unique. Yeah, that's really unique. Ah, don't hit me. Oh my god, they're doing Death Blight. Oh, they're throwing it. Okay, cool. Super duper unique. I do remember there's actually like quite a few crafting materials around here as well, if you want to pick all that up. Alright, so we got a couple items there. Now that Crimson tier, I know what that is. Here's some of the crafting stuff. It's all scattered around back here if you want to pick everything up. But the Crimson tier, I'm pretty sure, is an HP refill. I don't really get that. I'm going to be honest. Like, I would never use that in my mixed potion. But you can technically put two Crimson tiers in, and it's an instant full health. Now, that sounds cool, but there's so many great effects you can put in the mixed potion. I don't really know if I would want to make it so that I'm going to just refill my health. I have potions for that. Maybe if you're really desperate for healing and you're struggling really bad, it might be a good option. But later on, we're going to get like one that's insane. I don't know what that was. I wanted to say that's insanity, but it came out very awkwardly. But let me just put it this way. There is a one of the things for the mixed potion that's going to make it so that when we're going to die, we don't die. We actually get 50% of our health back. I mean, how overpowered is that? Like, who cares about making it so that we can fully heal at one drink when we can have an effect that will last for quite a while, and if we die, we get half our health, and it saves our life. I mean, that's insane. I almost did it again. Okay, well, I'm trying to think. I can summon the Black Knife for this. So this is kind of like one of the Sentinel guys, but he's way stronger, and he has, like crazy crazy dragon lightning attacks so let's go ahead and get ready for this and run in there and try to get some damage on this guy he's worth like 50,000 runes too so he's kind of worth killing for sure even if you did take the other way but man yeah look at that he hits hard he gonna get wrecked though i just know it this is one of those things where like this kind of stops you from getting to the capital like super early but yeah about half health he starts doing the lightning now big aoe's my black knife is just so crazy like what are you doing it was spamming this special attack yeah this guy's dead there we go boom easy peasy now this doorway opens and yes this just takes us to the capital do i have that grace no, I don't, actually. I don't think there's anything over there. I guess I'll go get the grace. You know what? I'll level up. But where we're going to go next... Oh, God. I don't remember if this is the one with the chariot or not. But we're going to go and do one of these hero graves. I'm pretty sure it is one with the chariots. There's four hero graves in the game. And three of them have chariots. Let me just check this out over here. This just takes you right to the capital. I just want to double check for items and stuff. Okay, no, it's just an elevator. I think once we go down there, we're pretty much where we've been before. So I'm going to rest, and I'm going to try to level up. I'm just, at this point, dumping everything into strength to try to make my 
weapon do more damage and stuff. The big thing for this spear, though, is once we get it to plus 10, remember, it's not plus 10. So, it's not hidden as hard as it can. But in general, this thing is never going to do, like, as much damage as the Bloodhound Fang. Like, that weapon is so good. But the difference is the defense. Like, we get this, and that's just too good. And there are some other spears we can use. And I do like that one I talked about. It's another great spear. And that one actually makes it so that you can get some faith damage and stuff on it. Okay, so there is a catacombs. What is that pointing exactly? Okay, that's kind of bizarre. But where we want to go is... And I do think we can get access to this area from over here. Let me get rid of that waypoint. Where is that? Oh, it's all the way up there. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can go this way. But if you remember where the dung eater was, he was in this water. We can also go that way. I think I pointed it out in that episode that we could go that way to get to like some of this stuff. Let me check this out though and see if this is a way to actually get down there or not. Um, I want to say no so far. This looks like really high up. Yeah, this is a mountain. Okay, well, let's just go down to where the Dung Eater was, and we will make our way over to one of these places. I'm just putting the beacon there, but I kind of know where I'm going. We're just kind of heading down, and we're heading to where that water was. So, just hop on down. And there's going to be one of these statues coming up as well, where we have to break it. We don't see these too much. It's kind of crazy. We've seen now it's going to be two in this episode. And again, they always do the same thing. You see the statue. They put like a big enemy next to it to make you think that that's the enemy you have to use so that you sit there for five minutes trying to break it with the giant bear. I mean, look at this. They do this so on purpose. They put the giant bear there to make you think to break it with the bear. But no, that's not what you need to do. You got to get the rune bear. So let's go get the Rune Bear. He is up here. Hello, Rune Bear. Oh no, I missed. Oh, another bear. Hello, die. Rune Bear, come over here and murder me, please. Oh my God, these things are so terrifying. There we go. Pick up the item. Now we can actually fight this thing. Let's do that attack. And I almost missed everything. I pretty much only hit him once. Cool. Probably could just poke him. Alright, do that. I just want to get one bleed off at least. Come on. One bleed, please. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. Roll through that. Come on, stamina. Come back. Poke. Poke. Come on over. Here we go. Hopefully he doesn't hit me in the back. But yeah, he's dead now. Give me your face. And I missed. Oh my god. There we go. We got him. Now the question is, which one of these two places do I want to do first? We have the Hero Grave, and then we have a Catacombs. I'm going to go do the Catacombs, because the Catacombs should be a lot easier than the Hero Grave. But once I get in there, I'll remember what's up with this one. But I want to say before we go in, this is actually kind of a difficult one, if I remember right. But let's check it out and see. And I'm going to rest real quick at the Grace. And let's see what's up with this catacombs. Please don't be skeletons. Please don't be skeletons. You know what? I think this one is skeletons. Oh, God. Please don't be the one I'm thinking of. Oh, there's jars. Well, that's different. Hey, jar. I'm putting my lantern on as well so we can see better. Hello. Get out of here. You want some, too? Sometimes the range of this weapon is, like, ridiculous. All right, they blow up. Well, that's cool i guess and let's look around we could jump through here or maybe not that might be deaf and there's another jar that one's gonna blow up isn't it yes it is run away and let's head on down i seen that enemy back there oh yeah Ugh! okay i know which one this is i kind of hate this one so i was dreading when i had to do this one this is the catacombs that basically there's a bunch of these chests and they're all traps 
and you have to figure out like how do you get to the end since i didn't do a practice run for this i'm probably gonna get lost you ever notice that i always get lost and confused in the catacombs like they're pretty crazy right oh my god get on somewhere man chill again i could totally just guard break him and that would be a good idea so i should do that for the next one hey buddy come on there you go goodbye ow just die now your buddy also has to die there we go and i'm just going to i was trying to just poke him but i guess that's not gonna work but to be fair, I probably could, when he bounces off, just poke him to death and not actually go through that full animation. And let's come on down here. There's a crab there or something. Okay, maybe not. Lightning, though, that's never fun in the water. Cool. Where is that? Or What exactly is happening? Please bounce off. There you go. Boom. Boom. So it's two hits. That's nice. And I'm getting crap thrown at me again. So, obviously, you see the chest. You know it's a trap. Oh, hello. Get on somewhere. Oh, you know what? It's two hits no matter what. That's kind of cool. Hey, I actually got that weapon, too. I am so going to miss some stuff here. Let's read these messages. Yeah, hidden path. Yes, it is. All right. So, let's not hit that. I... Oh, man. Blow up, please. Come on. This is crazy. Do they not blow up until they get close to me? There we go. Let's read the message because I'm pretty sure that's got to be the right one. It's behind the hidden path, right? The problem is, is that you probably should hit all of them just to thoroughly explore the area. There might be a couple items like on a top part somewhere. Speaking of a top part, here we go. Get out of here. Pick that up. And let's go this way. Hello. Goodbye. We're behind the gate now, I'm assuming. Let's hop down. Can I open? The no, I'm not behind the gate. Ah, oh my God. Okay, I guess that's that. Like, the purpose is to get the item up there with the enemy. So this has probably got to be the right way now. Yeah, this place, I mean... I don't want to say it's complicated, but I don't know, man. Another jar. That one, you could tell when they're going to blow up because you could see, like, the powder. It's orange. The ones that don't have that won't blow up. This one, too. He's going to blow up. Let's get away from that. I think the biggest problem with this place is that every time you see one of those chests, you're like, ooh, and then you remember, like, oh, never mind. Well, let's climb up and check this out i did actually like wake up in that chest yeah okay this is definitely the way to go this is a big ladder now the question is would you die dropping down there this is one of those ladders that i would say maybe you would to be honest now there's another catacombs hey look at this i hope i'm not missing anything here but i'm happy this is over i'm gonna be straight with you like i really don't like this one that much but what i was about to say is there's another catacombs i also don't like and that is one where there's like multiple traps and there's multiple levels i'm gonna have to see it to remember exactly this has got to be the way out right or at least take me back to the boss please come on am i at the beginning i hope so uh let's go back up top Yes, this definitely looks like the beginning to me. So let's go and fight this boss now. But once I do that other catacombs, the one I'm talking about, I'm going to bring it up. I'll try to remember because that's the one that I like the least. I'm going to be straight. All right, let's come on in here. Oh, my God. Oh, it's one of those guys. Cool. Well, come on out. And look at how OP that is. This thing just comes out and immediately is like, you know, I'm gonna do my special right away and wreck everything. Yeah, this guy is kind of a chump, I'm gonna be honest. Every time you ever fight this guy, it's always kind of a joke. Please, everybody die. 
And we got some ashes there. Cool, cool, cool. And let's look around, but yeah, we are good. Let me know, did I miss anything there? I have a strong feeling that I probably did. Okay, so here is an option. I guess I should do this. There's really no reason to do this, though. And that is to get to the hero grave. But I'm going to show it. Just because you know how I like to do this when we're exploring. I don't want to just teleport to the hero grave because I haven't done that. Oh, God, the rune bear is back. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Leave me alone. Ow! I hate you. All right. Oh, you're so fast, dude. It's crazy. Let's get inside. Oh, don't hit me. I'm pretty sure there's some doors there, so you can always just get the iframes from the door. And yeah, we just have to come down. And it might be a good idea to pop some souls. Oh, there I go again with the souls to pop some runes and try to level up just because there's chariots in here. I'm pretty sure this is the one with chariots, but there is another hero grip that we will be doing later on. And I literally sat down and didn't level up. Well, that's smart. Now let's level up more into strength. And there is a door over here. Let's open this up and grab the item. I'm gonna have to try to remember this place just because when I think about it, watch out. Oh, definitely watch out. Oh my God. Stop it, stop it. I, I hate these things. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. Let me run out of here. Goodbye. I'm gonna be like honest. I think this is the way to go. You know I like to fight stuff, but I'll also tell you when it's very smart just to grab something and run. This is one of those cases. Anytime you're dealing with that, it's always a good idea. Grab it and run. I mean, that's easy, right? But I'm trying to remember this place because I know What's cool about this place is that you can destroy the chariots, and that's always awesome. Yep, this is chariots. But, I'm trying to remember exactly how to do it. I know it's a little bit more complicated. All right. So, you do want to have this, though. Your bloodhound step, just so you can move really quickly. And, no, oh yeah, this is the one. This sucks. Let's get into the doorway. Watch out, skeletons, of course. Oh, no, there's more than one. Come on, just die. There we go, got one, got two. And kill them when they're on the ground. Now let's two-hand. I'm gonna chug, too. Because these things shouldn't one-shot me because I have so much health right now. But yeah, we gotta move. All right, let's go. Come on down. And we can take... Oh, no, we gotta cross. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't continue to chase me! Okay, that didn't kill me. But we can drop down, actually. Let's just drop down. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go down here and all that. And then we can make it so that the chariots... Oh! Oh, please. I hate these things. Like... And I do kind of now remember, there's a lot of these things. Again, just run. I'm sorry, I don't want to fight him. Again, no. Oh, well, wow, I wrecked him. Pick this up. I'm getting chased. There's like nowhere to go. All right, through here. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Now this part, yeah, this part, you gotta be kind of quick. So I have my Bloodhound step on, let's move. Don't worry about the items either. Pull out my spear again. I'm gonna poke this guy, let the chariot do its job. Okay, it didn't do its job. And take him out, there we go. Yeah, don't worry about the item. I would not sweat over that because we're gonna destroy these chariots, so it's all good. And that one decides that it wants to do all that. Okay, cool. Now you see where that item is? Okay, we're gonna have to go in the middle. That's the whole point here. Oh, is there a timing thing? Yeah, there's kind of a timing thing. So you kind of have to let one go down and then kind of cut like that. So if we come over here, oh God, oh God. Okay, just hit me please. This is terrible. I'm gonna get hit again. 
Ow. Come on, get in there before I die. See, I need to kind of like take a second to examine this. That's the issue. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get hit again. I just know it. Okay, hit me. Oh no! I'm alive! Am I still. Oh my god. I'm probably dead though, right? I gotta be dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Somebody else got here. Okay, well. See, here's the part I don't remember. I don't remember, like, what's the proper way of getting down here? Like, am I supposed to fight the boss first and then do it? Or what? But you basically have to go to the edge and find where you can drop down and drop down. Now, this is all if you want to destroy the chariots and get all the stuff here. Now, if I die here, I'm going to be sad, but let's see. I think that's good. Oh, my God. This actually worked. I cannot believe I was saved. I mean, that is insanity. I'm being real careful here, because you know I don't like gravity, but yeah. You know what? That message is kind of nice. Whoever did that, that was really kind of cool, because they made it so that it's perfect. All right, we need to kill this one quick. Mm -mm, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want to kill these guys in here just because I want to actually explore. Oh, my God. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Just die. Leave me alone. Put out your crap and come over here so I can smack you with my shield. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Die. That's one. Oh, I hit the other one, too. That was beautiful. Yeah, this place. I will not mess with this place. I'm telling you guys. Like, this This is pretty rough. All right. I'm just trying to remember. So, we do need to drop down there. I'm pretty sure that's one of the ways we need to go. Because where we are right now, this is how we're going to destroy the chariots but you can always just make it to the boss and be done with it you know and I missed okay cool I'm bad take him out let's pick this up now the question is where does this take us exactly I just know that we do need to drop down at some point you know by the way for the longest time I thought this was the spot that you went to get the fingerprint shield the shield I'm using I thought this was it. Because I remember this place had this whole part where you had to drop down and stuff. So I heard people talking about it. And I always thought that this is what they were talking about. Alright, so what is this point? I don't get this. Huh. Okay, well we're going back down. Oh, no! No! Gravity! I would have never thought in a million years that this was going to be a freaking gravity episode where gravity was the only thing that killed me. Unbelievable. I cannot believe I just let that happen. But you know what? I deserve that because I keep talking about these ladders, you know? I'm like, oh yeah, you can easily go down the ladders. It don't matter. Blah, blah, blah. It matters sometimes. And that was freaking stupid. But honestly, though, that was from soft. They did that on purpose, just to get you killed. Alright, let's try this again. Now I kind of need to do it the proper way this time. Oh god, come on, hurry up. Hurry up, please, hurry up. There we go. Let's go. Run through. Oh god. Come on, other thing. Go past me, please. Chill here for a second. Okay, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Ooh! Oh my god. Can we just drop down from here? This would be beautiful, right? No, nope, that's not the spot to drop down. Oh god. Oh, I guess this is kind of safe right here. And let's look. Where is the part to drop down? Right here. Alright. So that's the proper way of doing it. It's rough, though. I'm gonna be honest. Like, that's kind of rough. Hey, look, I missed an item, though. Now I can get that, at least. Give me this. And now... I gotta go recover, or do I? You know what? I don't know if I want to recover. I'm going to be honest. I don't, you know what? This is probably the safest way to go, so we're just going to go there anyway. But the reason why I don't care about recovering is because I was smart and I actually leveled up before I started this, so there's really not that many runes up there. Oh, you know what? Yeah, screw recovering. I, I don't want to deal with all that again, so let's not do that. Let's just come on over here and drop down here now. There we go. Let's look around for a second. 
there is a skeleton, which is never fun. But I'm gonna sprint, and we're gonna run for it. All right, skeleton, now you die. Don't try to fight him on gravity, whatever you do. And yes, I will be killing myself later again, so that I can get rid of that crap on the map. Now let's climb up. I know at some point we're gonna find something. It's gonna shine some light. It makes no sense, but these chariots here don't make a lot of sense to begin with. Where am I now? Oh God, okay. Oh God, hold up. You need to get up top. That's where this thing is, if I remember right. All right, so let's go on up top and come in here and knock this down. And what's all this? Seek running. Okay. Is it the fire? I could swear it was like the light or something. Let's see. I think that this fire might destroy the chariot. It just might take a couple like ups and downs for it to work. That's the part I don't remember. I do know there's something to do with the light because the light is going to make it so that the chariots are going to like crash into each other. It's pretty epic when it happens, but that just buys you like a lot of time then to fully explore and stuff. Okay, this is not doing what I thought it would, but at this point, I'm pretty sure we can go back and everything's gonna change. Yeah, I just thought about this. This was a mistake. This was a big mistake. Now, I don't care if I die, since I've already died before, and I want to die, because I want to get that crap off my screen. But, the reason why this was a mistake is because you do actually want to fight the boss before you do any of this. And the reason why is because then you can teleport. Like, once you hit that thing, you can teleport. Right now, I'm screwed, right? Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna have to run for it. Alright, he goes up. We start doing this. Man, Bloodhound step, though, for this is pretty insane. I mean, this, this is nice. Time for joy. Yeah, it is. All right. Bloodhound step again. We're pretty much out of FP, though. And let's block these guys. Get on square. Die. Ow. Ow. Die. There we go. We got one. Got the other one. Now we can kill him. Kill him. I wonder if I do a rune arc. Does that restore all my... Oh, it does. Not all of it, but most of it. All right, let's check this out, because maybe you do have to come up this way. I don't know. Well, there's an elevator here. That's interesting. Let's go down and check that out first. I just remember, there's some type of light or something that we trigger here, and that's what controls the chariots, and it makes them mess up and crash into each other. All right, let's do this. Oh, my God, it's another one of these kind of guys. I thought that one was so unique, because they're kind of like rogues but they're giants ogre ugly dudes and yeah we just got a talisman cool now let's come up top and hit the elevator and check this out so maybe you are supposed to actually go down but where is this gonna take us now all right takes us up we'll look around make sure i'm not missing anything and yeah, a lot of people might have done this place, by the way, and they have never actually... What's the point of the messages? Never killed the chariots before. Because, you know, you just might not think of that. Alright, hit that. Okay, yeah, you see the light? Huh. See, I feel like that's the right way, though. You're supposed to hit it. What? Okay, up required ahead. Let's see what? Oh, maybe because I hit the one on the bottom there. Okay, yeah, that might make a lot of sense in a way. So on the bottom. Ow! Okay, cool. I hope I did it right. But on the bottom, since I hit it like I did, that works too because it's the same one. But the point is, is that the light has to be on the top. Okay, now where is this at? All right, this is the double. All right, I'm gonna go up. Oh, they crashed, okay. See, they 
literally I missed it unfortunately, but they crashed and look at that. That's a lot of stuff Which is awesome Take this guy out real quick die But now we can actually explore this place a little bit better Yeah, man There we go. Oh Yeah, they're dead too. Like they're totally gone And I don't know about the first one though. Does the first one blow up too? not exactly sure about that Let's pick that up Come up here, grab this, no skeleton. Screw you, skeleton. I do want to get back to the beginning, though, just to look at that. What kind of sucks about this, though, is that when I get to this boss, I'm gonna have no FP at all. And yeah, this boss actually isn't the easiest boss in the world. It's not gonna be hard, but it's definitely not the easiest because you know what it is? It's two Crucible Knights. Oh, God. Yeah, I want to say maybe this one doesn't actually go away or does it yeah I think it does actually I think what it does is that it teleports that one to crash into the other ones I don't know though so far there's no chariots which is cool I'm just thinking am I missing something somewhere you know technically I could just go hit the grace I think I will let's hit the grace real quick then we'll go back but yeah I do believe what you can do is you can get to that bottom one. And if you can teleport, because you've already fought the boss, and now you can teleport, because in here I can't do anything. I can't leave, nothing, right? But if you've already fought the boss, you can then go to that bottom, hit that fire thing once, and then just teleport back, and then these chariots should all kill each other. I think. And if not, you're going to have to do what I did, where I went the other way or whatever. Oh, I hear something. What is that? Oh, it's just one of the skeletons. All right, cool. I hope I'm not missing anything, but I think I'm good for the most part. Maybe there's something in the side walls. See, maybe there was something also on the bottom part. I really don't want to go back, though. I'm going to be honest. But let me now get to the boss. And yeah. Um... I mean, you do get a lot of stuff. You get a spell, you get the armor. So I guess that is, like, worth it in itself. All right, but now we can finally get all the way over here. It's just nice and peaceful when you don't have to worry about the death machines murdering you. And for me, it's not so bad because when you come in here and you have, like, this amount of health, you don't die instantly. But if you try coming in here and you're, like, I don't know, a sorcerer or something and you haven't been focusing on your vigor... Yeah, you're gonna get one shot at the whole time. It's pretty awful. Or if you come in here early, it's gonna be pretty bad. All right, I'm not gonna fight those guys. Let's just get to the boss. Get ready to summon. Because, yeah, this is a gank. And come on, come on, I'm gonna get hit though. I'm gonna say 100% this guy. This is the one to take out first. He might be stronger, maybe, but the ones with the spears are always so much easier. At least in my opinion. Mainly because they bounce off. Well, maybe they don't bounce off, but oh my god, he's getting wrecked. The other guys with the shields, they're just super annoying because they block you, I guess. Now, is it just me, or did that guy not take any damage or something? What? Do you have to kill the other one first? Let me look. This is weird. Oh no, he's taking damage. I'm just confused. Oh my god, the black knife is so OP. You got a two for one there. Look at that. I actually hit them both with that attack. All right, you need to die, dude. Oh, that's the normal Crucible Knight. See, I always thought that the guy with the shield actually was the normal one, and the one with the spear was the special one. All right, let's start poking this dude. Unfortunately, that shield is something else. It messes up our shield. Ow! Oh my god, he's freaking wrecking me. Okay, you know what we need to do, and I haven't done it yet? We need shield crash. This is always OP. There we go. Stun the hell out of him. Well, we're gonna hit hit. Or not. Okay, cool. Tail whip. Let's get it close. Block. Come on! Black knife, do your thing. There we go, and I completely missed. And yeah, he's dead. Oh my god. 
Black knife, man. It literally did the attack a second time. By the way, we're about to go fight one in a second here. But now we got another set of crucible armor. So, if you want to wear some crucible armor, you have a lot of options. They give you a ton. Alright, well, there we go. We got all this stuff done over here. Now, we have this entire section over here to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and come back to this outer wall. And we're going to go grab all this stuff and slowly make our way through all of this. And, you know, the place I'm most dreading, because I totally don't remember. I've done it a couple times, but I totally don't remember it. It's this stupid tower. This tower here is something else. But, I'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Well, let's hop on the horse. And let me put a beacon down right over here. Pretty sure this is a somewhat nothing item over here. I don't know. We're gonna go check it out though and see what it is exactly. Now this whole little section by the way over here on the top, there's a lot of good stuff. Like one of the big ones though is gonna come from this church. That's gonna be our final sacred tier that we can get in this area. We have to wait until later. Okay, there's a scarab over here. That's why I marked it. Come here, Scarab. Die. And what do you drop? And yeah, it's lightning slash. So never mind. That was definitely something to come and get. Take that guy out. Now let's head over to this watchtower. We can see it in the distance already. And there's some enemies over here. And yeah, do I want to fight the guy on the horse? I guess I will real quick. Hey, buddy. Get off the horse. Die. The torch guys are always the freaking worst. They'll knock you off the horse so fast. Loot this guy. And I've gotten a lot of that armor. So to get up this tower over here, again, I'm going to show you on the map. I'm going to remove this stuff real quick. And we've already done this area, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's go ahead and hop on up and check this tower out. I'm just going to hop off the horse now. Look around real quick. I'm pretty sure what we're looking for, though, is going to come from the top of the tower. Is there anything down there? There's an enemy. Ah, screw it. I'll drop down. Take that guy out. Poke that guy. And now let's climb up the ladder. I guess we had to drop down. Oh, no, we didn't. Just wanted to check. Double check. Triple check. You know how it goes. Up we go. Look around. We good. Now let's get to the top. And we got a guy up here, a couple guys. Take that dude out. Take this guy out real quick. And what's in here? The great bow. All right, well, that's cool, I guess. Now we can go ahead and hop down and get out of here. Oh, crap. Well, it don't really matter. Oh, no, that's death, probably. Let's be careful about this. We have the freaking snipers trying to hit us with the stupid death machines. And let me get behind one. I'm going to pull my map up because I want to see where I want to go next. I need to die. Stupid things on the map. Let's come down here and we will go grab that item. Now, what this is down here where I'm going is actually going to be one of those enemies that's going to drop a tear for us. Which lets us reset our build. It's something that we don't really have to do, to be honest. I thought about, like, not even bothering showing this. Oh, God. Leave me alone. Back on the horse. But, yeah, I do want to show this. Just because I've done these enemies before in the different areas. So let's do the one that's over here. It's one of these, like, secret enemies where you kill him. And then he becomes, like... A giant enemy or something like that and let's head on down now to be honest this is the way we can get to the spot where that hill is I was just talking about so the enemy is in here somewhere he's in a corner or something just looking around real quick okay let's hop on up in here he must be in here yes he's in the corner be ready for this, because he's going to transform, so kill him. And what's it going to be? Oh my god, it's a lion! Lions destroyed my stamina. That was crazy, alright. Now it's time to bleed you and 
destroy you. Come on, stop. You're so aggressive. And I'm missing. Ow. This is an awkward place to fight. Come on, smack him up. All right, I'm just gonna poke you now. Don't knock me off the cliff, whatever you do. Oh my God, that could have been really bad. And, come on, give me the item. Awesome. And like I was saying, we can actually make our way from here to this grace. Just follow the road a little bit. If you wanna hit the grace now, you can. In fact, I would recommend doing that. I'm not gonna go over there right now just to hit the grace. Or should I? You know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna do that because there may be like an item or something. So let me make sure I do that. And actually, look, I didn't even have this marked on the map, but there's a bunch of graves over here. Let's go get that. Now, once you actually come down here, by the way, in this area, you'll notice that there's going to be lightning coming down like crazy. Let's grab all of these. Now, one of the reasons I want to show the grace, though, is because we're just going to go ahead and teleport back over here later. I'm not going to take the long way to get over here again. That's why I want you to just go and get the grace right now. And then we'll go do some other stuff. But the last thing we're going to do in this episode is actually go on that hill. There's actually a pretty awesome dragon fight up there. All right, I'm just looking around real quick. But the grace is right here. So make sure you get it. Is there any basic items over here? I don't see nothing. All right, so now let's go ahead. I'm just going to teleport. It's going to save us some time. Let's put our beacon up there in the corner. And let's just teleport to the windmill village. And then we will go and check out these other windmills. Which, again, I want to say that the items that are over in these locations are not super important. There might be some ashes in one of them. So I guess that might be important. But in general, I don't think there's anything too great. But we definitely just want to check them out. And these are locations that you will discover once you get close to them. Bunch of enemies over here. More of these crazy women. And if we do follow the road over here, eventually we're going to hit like one of those wagons that we can rob the thing out of the chest. Okay. Bunch of zombies in the middle. They're all burning. And they're going to blow up and stuff. Make sure there's nothing in there. And yeah, let's start trying to kill these guys. Okay, or those just all blow up at the same time. Cool. Take out the rest of them. Come on. There we go. Oh no, he's blown up. And yeah, that right there, that was a lot of stuff. But that hood will give you a little bit more FP if you equipped it. Don't really like that one, though. The Crimson Hood, I'm more of a fan of, which I'm really not that big of a fan of to begin with, but yeah. So let's go ahead and head over to this windmill now. And this is that bridge, actually. Since I, we're over here, let's hit the bridge. We already killed the wizard that was over here. But let's go and talk to this guy and progress his quest. I'm probably not going to finish it in this episode because, like I was saying earlier... This is all I know. I just know, like, once you tell him about this guy, he comes over here and you talk to him. I think he might go inside of the capital. I'm not exactly sure, but I need to kind of figure that out about this guy's quest. So first, he will be selling something new. Let's buy that, and let's ask him about it. And this should progress it, and I guess they're going to move. I think it's into the capital, if I remember right. And yeah, I think we're good on that. So, let's hop back on the horse. I guess I'll go grab that item. It's right there. And this is actually a pretty good one. I do like this. It's going to be a scarab. But we're going to get a spell. And eventually, like, maybe I'll switch this build so that I am using that other great spear. The one that will scale with faith. Because there are some pretty good buffing spells that we can use. And this is actually one that's not bad. Because this one, if I remember right will give you like resistance to everything all of the different elements in the game it's pretty useful but also like there's a couple bosses that you can just completely destroy if you actually can protect against like the things that they do and the final boss of the game actually is one of those bosses that boss is like tough i mean i don't know it's not as hard as melina 
which is the hardest boss in the game. I've talked about her many times. She's one that we're going to literally have to change our entire strategy for and come up with something new. There's a lot to be said about that woman. But the final boss of the game is also, like, not easy. But if you actually go ahead and counter holy damage, I believe. It's holy. If you counter that, that boss is a cakewalk. And there's a spell where you can, like, really mitigate the damage that you take from holy. And it just makes the whole thing so much easier. Because the big problem with the final boss of the game, I'm not trying to spoil it or anything like that, is that you kind of, like, struggle, and then, like, you're not done. You know, it's, you know what I'm getting at, right? It's one of those, like, oh my god, that was really hard. Thank god that's, oh wait, it's not over. It's one of those moments, and it's like, oh god. And if you can counter the holy damage and you take a lot less from it, it's going to help you a lot because by the time that you get to the end, you probably should have some of your resources left so that you can actually finish off the boss and beat the game. All right, so let's head on down here and let me show you the map again just so I'm not really quick about it. I'm pretty sure the marker down there is going to be, yes it is, I can see it now, the wagon. Oh god. I don't know if this is safe. I'm just gonna say it is. It is. Okay, good. Ah, torches, 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 torches! I hate you. But then he blows the horn too, just to rub it in. Okay, what is over here? Is there anything over here? You would think there's gotta be something. This guy's got a chest, so he's gonna drop like a rune or something. If they're holding a chest like that, they're gonna drop a rune. In fact, you know what? If I remember right, maybe that was my other marker on the map over in that other spot. So what is all this? Okay, there's an item all the way down there. You know what? I don't think I explored this little spot down here when I was running around the map. Okay, I'm gonna go down there just to check that out. It's probably nothing too important, but let's just double check. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, there's nothing in there. Anything in the front? Nope. All right, well, let's come on over here. I'll show you on the map exactly where this is at. Start messing this guy up. Those guys are kind of a joke. Okay, yeah, that's a big nothing. Just a crafting material, but let me show you on the map. Okay, no, I can't, of course. Hop on the horse. Let's take these guys out, and then I'll try to show the map where this is exactly is at. All right, there we go. Come on. Oh, God, of course I can't use my map. Why? Okay, there we go. So this little corner here, that's where I'm at. So if you want to come down here and grab this, go for it. I think that's why I didn't even bother coming down here, because I knew what that was. And I knew it was just some gravel crap, which I don't even know what you're supposed to use that for, to be honest with you. It's for crafting. But here we go. We got a ton of enemies over here. Take them out. And you can stop them by attacking the big guys. All right, just hop off and grab this, which I've already grabbed this. Never mind. All right. Let me pull this up and get rid of this. Yeah, I've grabbed that before. Well, right over here, we actually do have some stuff. Watch out for these dogs. These dogs are awful. These are the blood dogs. So if they hit you, they're going to bleed you real quick. There is a lot of crafting stuff over here so make sure you pick it all up i do believe i picked some of it up earlier though there are more dogs oh my god come on die doggy is that a big one and why is that one taking two hits oh that is a big one i can't hit this for nothing there we go and i believe just in here these are some of those enemies where if you want to kill them go for it but they take forever to die so i'm not gonna bother we're just gonna go down the steps do you think there's a boss in here? Yes, there is, actually. All right, let's come inside. And drink that. Oh, it's one of those things. Well, this thing's going to get wrecked. Probably don't even need to summon, I'll be honest. And we're just going to poke like crazy. And poking dope. There we go. He's busy. Open the door. And what's in here exactly? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? That's not a bad weapon. Let me show you that real quick. I'm going to take off this. 
Hopefully I'm not overweight. Okay, so this is a heavy thrusting sword. Now the heavy thrusting swords, I like a lot, okay? More than the normal ones because they have a lot more range. I mean, look at the range. The range of that is pretty good. Also, one thing to take into account is how fast they are. So they're really fast. So when you're doing your pokes, you're poking fast. But the best thing about this one is that this thing has bleed on it. So this is a pretty good weapon. I would literally say for this build, this is one to consider upgrading just to have that extra bleed option. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll have to remember that and maybe I will upgrade that. Because I, again, really do like the heavy thrusting swords a lot. So over here, there is a giant blob. I don't know if it's like actually standing on anything. I seriously doubt we can bleed this thing because this is like a blood area here. Let's try though. All right, let's just do this. Oh my God, I think I did. If not, that was just a lot of damage I just did. All right, can you bleed these things? Oh my God, you can, that's crazy. I, I would never have thought you could bleed them just because they're kind of like blood enemies. All right, come on. Oh, that big one isn't dead? Die. There we go. It's gonna probably drop something. Let's pick it up. Yeah, okay, not really worth it, but we got the item that's over there. Now we can get out of here. There's so many enemies around here, I cannot pull up my map. It's bothering me. Let's try to get away. There we go. We can get rid of that now. And let's come over here and grab this item. Now, there is a way to probably properly do this where you can... Yeah, you can see it now. I'm going to see if I can properly do it. Because the proper way is to jump from the top onto that bridge and then go down and grab the item. But there's actually another way you can do it. So let's check this out. A lot of guys over here. My God. But yeah, if you just jump from here, you get on top of the bridge. And now we can just kind of jump on down. And we can jump down again and grab the item. It's right here. And yeah, that's cool. But, oh, it's nighttime again. Crap. There is a way to get up there from down here. If I can remember. It's pretty cool. Just jump on up there, basically. Is it this? No, no, it's here. Okay, so I think it's here. I could be wrong, but you jump up here. Okay, no, that's not right. Somewhere around here, I think it's there. So, like, right here. Yeah, look at this. This is so cool. You can jump up like that, and then jump up again. Okay, you fall. I'm going to show you how to do this right, okay? I'm going to get it right. I'm not going to fail it. I did this first try. All right, come on. There we go. Boom. We're up here. And you can grab the item. So you don't have to go the long way around or something. Now we can get rid of that. And there is actually quite a bit to do over here. So I'm going to head on over. There is a boss over here. But the enemies. Oh my god. The enemies are something else. I think I'm going to try to make my way to a grace. Let's pick that up real quick. These enemies, they have death blight, and you know how it is. I really don't like the death blight, so because I don't like the death blight, I really don't want to sit there fighting them. And let me see. I'm going to make my way down to the grace. So the grace is down here. I'm trying to show you on the map. And the reason I'm going down there, though, is because I need to make this day. Like, this is too dark. I don't like it being dark. We need the light. So let's get down there. It's probably a good idea to hit this grace anyway, because... You can easily die here just because of the death blight. You never know, right? And you wouldn't want to have to go all the way from the other grace. It would take forever to get back down here. Okay, so let's hop on the horse now. And yes, we are going to make our way. Actually, since we're right here, let's go grab this item. It's just real close. It's a scarab, so just go in there, kill the scarab, and run. Don't mess with these guys. There we go. Yeah, him. Just a somber five, but I will take it. Now we can go ahead and head on over to this area. These ruins, which also has a boss in it. Let me check this out. I think there's an item up there. I don't know if I've grabbed it already. It's probably a nothing item. Oh, no, it's still up here. There we go. 
Yep, it's a nothing item. You see all this death blight? Look at the death blight! That's what I'm talking about with these enemies. Don't want to fight them all. Okay, let's come on over. So here's the tree. And there's going to be a tree boss over here, but it's different than normal. Okay, that's a lot of those guys. they got to be guarding something, right? Well, I'm going to avoid them if I can. Okay. So what we're looking for here is we're just looking for some of the ruins so that we can actually explore it. Because there's different segments here. Of course, there's going to be a staircase going down, like always, somewhere. We're just going to have to find that. Okay, I missed. Another item over here. Let's pick that up. I'm going to try to avoid these guys as best as I can. And... Don't think the staircase going down is over here, but... Look at how they do the death blight. Oh, man. Actually, when I was running around marking the map, I got killed by them with the death blight. So, yeah, they're pretty insane. Okay, now this one I'm going to take out just because... Oh, it's in my way! This is the staircase going down over here. I'm going to get knocked off the horse. The slugs literally might knock me off the freaking horse. There we go. Pick that up. Take out that slug. Take these guys out. Come on, there's so many of you guys. Give me the item. Ah, there we go. And... Is this the staircase going down? I thought it was. What's the message? Okay. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. I don't know. I couldn't read that in time, but I'm going to keep moving. I would love to pull up my freaking map, but the enemies, there's so many of them in this area, I don't know if it's going to let me. Because you can look at the map and kind of see the different parts here. Alright, can I pull it up? Nope, not yet. Well, I'm going to keep exploring. We're also going to probably accidentally run into this boss. That's what will probably happen here. Alright. I think I've looked over here, right? Oh no, here's a Scarab, let's take him out. Watch out, that's Golden Slam, that's actually a really cool move. Pick that up. And where is this staircase going down? Hello? Item in this corner over here. Ah. Oh my god, look at the Death Blight, it just stays out there forever! Leave me be! Oh, there he is, okay. Over here, this is the boss, right here. Let's go ahead and summon, and let's fight him. He's gonna drop some of the mixed potion stuff, though. He acts like the other bosses, but yeah, he's not actually one of those guys. He's this giant thing. And he's got death blight like crazy, so watch out for the death blight. Let's take out those guys as well, come on. Look at that death blight. Oh my god, I gotta back all the way up. This is crazy. Okay, is that buffing them as well? What's going on there? Don't death blight me! He's not the strongest though. I mean, he should be able to do a lot of Oh my god! Please don't death blight me with this move. Oh god. All right, come on, man. Drop me, please. That's so creepy. All right. Come on, Black Knight. Do that thing again. That thing would be nice right now. I would love you if you did that. Your legs are awkward, and you grabbed me again! Okay, yum yum. Mm -hmm. Eat me. Now drop me, please. Thank you. Now let me back up, chug again. It's trying to grab me again! Stop it! And of course, the... No! Oh, what is this? What is this grab city over here? Okay. Luckily, that's not putting any death light status on me. Because if it was, I'd be death blighted by now. Alright. There we go. Got him. Mr. Worm Face. You did. Now I can hop back on the horse. And give me my rewards. And yeah, I don't even know what they do. So whatever. I still gotta find the spot for the staircase going down. Which I still don't know. But we're gonna find it. It's gonna happen. Is this it? I don't know. I'm going to have to show you on the map where it's at once I find it. Because, yeah, this place is awkward. It's super awkward over here. All right, can I pull this up? All right, you see all this? So, I'm pretty sure we explored up there. 
We explored there. Let's go down and check that part out. Because that's probably got to be it, right? Also, there's one of these candle things here, which will take you to a secret dungeon. I don't know which one it does, to be honest, over here. You know, maybe it's actually going to take you... Oh, crap. It made me lose my map. I think it takes you maybe to that those tunnels or something. All right, we got an item over here in the corner that I missed. So maybe this is it over here. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to be it, probably. Because look at all the guys. My God, there's like 60 of them. Okay. Get off the horse, please. Thank you. I would love to pull up the map and show you, but I'll show you again in a second. Because, like, yeah, there's no way I'm pulling up this map. Okay. Oh, no, I can't. Awesome. So, this one right here. You can literally see the structure. This is where the staircase is. And now, let's head to the tunnels over here. The tunnels are on this side, so we need to go from there. And I did grab that. Oh, God, I am not looking forward to that. That sucks so bad. All right, let's go ahead and come up and get on the horse and run for our lives. Leave me alone. Come on, get on the horse. There we go. Now, remember, with these tunnels over here, one cool thing about these tunnels I will bring up, I've used these before, like, multiple times just because of the fact that you can get a somber five in here. I think you get two of them in here. So if you're looking for one and you're not doing like the strategies with the volcanic manor and all that, this is a good spot to come to just run in here, grab the somber five and run out. That's what I've done before multiple times. But another thing too is remember that one guy we killed? Well, now we don't have to deal with that. What is the purpose of me jumping down like this? I don't see anything. Okay, I don't know. Did I already come down here once? Maybe I did. Alright. Let's rest there for a second. Restore all of our stuff. We need that, actually. I blew through a lot. And... Is there stuff on the walls? I'm pretty sure there's some guys on the walls. Or something. Alright, take that guy out. Let's take this dude out now. Alright, there we go. Give me the chest. And what is this? Oh, it's Rune Arc. I need those. I've died to gravity six times in this episode, so I'll take them for sure. I like how you don't bounce off of those guys. That's pretty cool. And watch out. We got sh freaking snails. Take them out. And I don't know why. Am I calling the slugs snails? Like, that's the thing. I might have been calling them snails this whole episode. I have a bad habit of that. But no, the slugs are slugs, the snails are snails. The game's just crazy, let's be honest. The enemies in the game are like, what, what, what are these things? Like, they're crazy. Giant crabs, lobsters, snails. I mean, what the fuck? All right, take this guy out. Watch out, yeah, okay, these, these things, oh god. Yeah, these things are kind of frustrating in a way, because they swarm you. So let's take them out. We also got the magic guy trying to hit us the whole time. I'm not going to bother that guy yet. Ah, magic guy needs to die first before anybody. Alright, come here. You need to die. There we go. Ooh, I just thought about something. Okay, so this place... There's something on the wall right there. That's the Somber Five. This place has a gank in it. Oh my god, the gank... The boss here actually is... Especially early on. We're not going to have a problem with it again. We're really OP and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the drill. But if you do come here early on, man, the boss here is something else. But the other thing is that they drop another one of those bell things so that we can get or we can buy the stuff from the merchant at the round table. So that's awesome. All right, take this last guy out here. Let's pick this up. I'm pretty sure there's another one of those small gargoyle enemy type things. And it's in here somewhere. What are you working on, dude? Give me the item. Okay, no, maybe we're good. But now that we've killed that thing on the other side over there, we don't have to worry about it shooting us. See, that's the thing. When you don't have that enemy dead, this whole time when you're over here, it's shooting you, and it's really frustrating. But you can easily do everything you need to do even with it shooting you and you can be okay okay i can't get up we gotta jump 
But up here, this is a talisman. And again, this is another pretty good one to get early in the game. Like, I do like this spot a lot just to come and grab all the stuff because somber five you can get here you can get that talisman which is nice and watch out there's a snail take him out and what's down here there's gotta be something down here is there really nothing down here oh yeah there is about to say pick that up okay so there really wasn't nothing down there because that's crap who wants that come on jump up there we go now we can get back up top and we can basically get to the boss now what i'm trying to remember is this a double gank or a triple gank because if it's a triple gank it's crazy man i know that there is a triple gank somewhere just don't remember where exactly well, let's check it out it's just going to be over here and we got a lot of snails take that one out that one give me all the items you need to die and you need to die okay we got another item back here pick that up and are those snails? Yes, they are. Well, let's just get ready for this. Again, this fight should be pretty easy because we OP. But if you're trying to do this like early on, this is a nightmare. Yeah, this is the double gank, I guess, right? Yeah, it's a double gank. There is a triple gank, though. So, oh my god. Because you know the drill with these enemies, like what's really crazy about them is you do no damage to him. I guess the black knife does crazy damage to him. But you really don't do any damage until you knock him down. But once you knock him down, it's just GG on him. And yeah, the spear and the shield build works like a charm against these things. It destroys them. Come on. Backstabs do not work well because you don't really do any damage to them. Which is what you want to do, is just do a lot of the poise damage or whatever, stun damage. How is the Black Knife knocking this thing down like that? I mean, that's crazy. Keeps doing like some type of front flip or something. One more hit, you did. There we go. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a bell. Yes, it is. So that's cool. That's the somber bell. Awesome. Now we can basically get rid of all of this. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. That was a big mistake. I thought I was, like, messing with this area over here. Oh, man, I hope I'm not going to miss something now. Well, we will see. We will see. All right, so I'm going to come over here now, and we're going to start this tower. This is one of those towers where we have to do a puzzle, and that's the problem, like, it's been a minute since I've done this puzzle, so I might get lost. Because you kind of have to roam around this area a little bit and find some hidden gargoyles or something. I don't really remember, but we're going to see. So I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and hop on the horse. Still need to kill myself eventually because that's driving me crazy. Let's come on over here. Avoid those guys. And let's hit this thing. And that's going to make all this stuff appear. Don't think it has to be nighttime for this. I believe it's fine during the day. Now, one thing about this tower is that the tower is invisible. So that's the whole point here. So hit this, and yeah. You have to find the three thing. They literally give you a little map or whatever to help you. Okay. Now, let me show you on the map first where I'm at. Let me keep that there, actually. Get rid of that, though. And I'm going to kind of head in a circle, in a way. Now, one thing... There's an item here, though. Pick that up. Come on, come on, come on. Pick it up. There we go. But one thing that you know you're in the right spot because there's going to be... Here we are. Here's one. There's going to be a phantom gargoyle. So, you see? Do we have to hit that or do we have to touch it? Ow! Stop it. Stop it. Come here. Oh my god, do they keep spawning? Touch this thing. I have to get off the horse. Stop it. Just die, please. Alright, touch this. Please go away. Oh my god. Are they gonna keep respawning too? I wanna pull the map up so I can show you exactly on the map. There we go. They're dead. Alright. So here is the first location right here. Tower's there. There you go. 
I'm pretty sure I'm coming up to the second location. I kind of remember having to go up a hill. Now, one of these are actually invisible in a rock. Okay, yeah, this ain't right. It might be behind me. But one of them is in a rock, and you have to hit the rock. But you know you're in the right spot because you have the phantom gargoyles. But I do believe it might be over this way. This just looks familiar to me. Oh yeah, this is it, I think. I think this is the rock over here, right? Is this it? No. Okay, that's just the real rock. Oh, this is the rock right here. Hit that. I'm not seeing any gargoyles. So that's kind of depressing. Because this might be hard to find otherwise. So hit that one. And this is the second location. So there's the grace. See the trees. Right in the middle of the four trees. That would be your best bet. And again, it's the rock. And if you... And I'm not talking about Dwayne Johnson. But if you are online, there should be a lot of messages too. So that helps. Now I'm going to go and hunt the last one. I'm cutting this ahead just because I know like, I'm going to get lost. I know that for a fact. So I just don't want to waste 10 minutes looking for this. Okay, well I just found an item over here. I'm going to have to kill these guys. Why did I hit that guy so hard? My god, I hit him for 1,200. I guess it's like the double damage or whatever. Please be out, be out, be out. Ow, 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 ow. Stupid death blight. I want to show this item. I need to show it on the map. Ah, stop with the death blight, please. Come out, something. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Take him out. There we go. Pick that up. And it's big nothing. But I'll show you on the map anyway. If you want to come get this, it's over here in these trees. Let me keep looking for a second before I cut it ahead again. Because I'm pretty confident that... There's one back here, there's one down here, and there's one over here. The main thing, of course, like I said, is I'm looking for this gargoyle, but after that second one where there wasn't a gargoyle, now I'm scared. Oh, oh, never mind. Unless, do I have to interact with this right here? That would be crazy, right? There's no way. Do I have to touch this? Oh my god! Okay, never mind. Well, that's easy enough. There you go. Just touch that one. And now we can come inside. And yeah, in here, I'm pretty sure this is one of those memory things just to give us more slots. And that's it. I could be wrong, but let's see. And you know, like, the big problem with these things is that I'm not really using them. I'm not using any spells. I like how people are putting, like, messages down and stuff. What are they talking about, like? Trolling. Oh, there is another item here, though. Oh, it's actually, never mind. These are some spells. What's this? Give me this. Give me it. Stupid message. Okay. Like, weird, man. Like, the drugs that me and Maki is on is just insanity at times. All right. Let's come on down here. I really wanted to say Miyamoto there for a second. That's why I hesitated. But, yeah, that would have sounded really bad if I said that. Alrighty, so. We've done all that now. You know what really sucks? I really should have explored over here. Because, yes, this over here is totally still the capital outskirts. I do know there's a catacombs or something over here. I mean, I don't know, though. Yeah, this is kind of volcanic manor. I don't know. The thing about this volcanic manor area, though, when I really think about it, I think I have actually, like, done almost everything over there. There's only a couple things I don't think I have done. But we will see. Because in the next episode, we're definitely going to start heading up here. So maybe I'll take a couple minutes just to finish this place up over here. Then I'll head on up here. We'll explore all this. Then we'll make progress. Because that's the goal. Alrighty. I'm going to cut this ahead. We'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Hop on the horse. We're back at that grace I talked about before. Now, I would recommend heading to maybe the church first. Although, we can grab these items. Now, over here, I guess I'm just going to put a marker down there anyway, but that was a scarab. It was actually really weird and kind of funny in a way. And what happened with that scarab was 
What I like to do, I've already talked about this, is that I'll like go directly over an item and I'll put the marker down. If it's a scarab, I'll run up to the scarab and then I'll let it run away and disappear, put the marker down where it was starting, and yeah, that's good. This particular scarab, for some reason, did not run away from me. Because I was actually like in my menu putting the marker down and one of these stupid like rams came over and hit me. So when I got knocked out of the menu, I actually just killed the ram. I just swung on him and I killed the scarab too. And the Ash of War you get over here is actually kind of funny. It's a, I think it's called Golden Ram. It might be called something else, but it's actually one of these crazy ram attacks where you literally spin. It's like the trolliest, weirdest attack in the whole game. But it is pretty awesome. I'm gonna be honest. All right, so right here, this should be where the scarab's at. I guess it doesn't move because again, I'm standing right on it and it didn't move away. So that was weird. Let's get rid of this stuff now. And this is the most important thing in my opinion, just because this is gonna be the sacred tier and we need that bad. Let's head on down, take out the guy on the horse. Hey buddy, my buddy. I'm kind of scared of this dragon. I'm gonna be honest. Cause I fought this dragon before and I've died as this dragon. This dragon give me OP. Let's come on down in the corner. There's an enemy. Ow! Take him out. I'm gonna hop off. Open this up. Okay, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Chill. There you go. Pick that up. That is pretty good, actually. If I remember right, like that is a really Kind of overpowered spell. They probably nerfed it by now, but I remember seeing some people do some crazy stuff with that spell. It makes it so, like, your opponents in PvP could bounce off of you if they were one-handing. And that's what made it insane. No, no, okay, I remember now. So, here's the deal, right? This build is super OP, and this build was insanely overpowered in PvP. This whole poking thing. Well, because you are one-handing, People were using that spell to counter you. It made you bounce off. So, yeah, man, people are smart. Like, they figure out counters for everything, especially when people complain. You're like, oh, my God, it's so overpowered. Nerf it. When they do that, like, you know, there's always smart people out there. They're going to figure this stuff out, how to counter. And I seen that, I was like, wow, that's really smart, man, because, like, you bounce off, and then they would hit you with a big attack like the Moon Veil and just wreck your face in. It was crazy. Oh man, the music is sick. All right, Black Knife, meet the Black Knife. Oh my God, yeah, this one's actually kind of strong. Maybe not the strongest one in the game, but definitely not a bad one. Oh yeah, no, this thing's strong. Oh, I just got hit by the attack. Come on, there we go. I want to do my special. My special's pretty strong. Oh my God, it knocks it down. Okay, good. It was able to recover. I was about to say, if I could loop that, that'd be insanity. Do a little jump. Go for this. Let's see. Oh my god. Knocked it down again. Come on, black knife. Do the black knife attack on the black knife. Let's see it. Oh, by the way, you're gonna actually get that dagger from the black knife. And you know what it does? It actually does that attack. It's pretty good. Let me check back here real quick. Don't think there's anything back here. Now, this is the final hero grave in the game. I hope I'm not wrong about that. Because if I am, I'm going to look foolish. But there's four of them. And this is our fourth one. And I don't remember. Oh, no. This is that catacombs, I think, I was thinking of. It's not a catacombs. It's a hero grave. We'll see in a second, but oh my god, like, if it's the thing I'm thinking, I hate this place. But this is the one where there is no chariot at all. Which is a relief, I guess, right? Alright, yeah, this is just like a crazy catacombs, essentially, and I'm totally gonna get lost. And I just remember there's multiple levels, there's a lot of traps, and all types of stuff, but we open that up, come inside, we have an enemy in here. Kind of random, but okay. Pick that up. Got a talisman. Now let's go ahead and head in here and check this out. What is in here? 
Okay. I did rec... I... I can't talk now. But I did end my recording earlier to give it a break because I'm worried about the video messing up and stuff. But right now, I'm pushing like two hours in this recording, so I'm a little worried again. I'm hoping everything's going to be fine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is the shadow place. Okay. All right. Yeah, this place is cool. It's kind of crazy, but it's cool. All right, so the premise of this place is, oh, watch out, you know these enemies. Mm -mm, die quickly, please. Come on, die. So the premise here is pretty awesome. What you gotta do is you're gonna have to like draw the enemies into the light. And when you draw them into the light, then you can damage them. But yeah, it's been a good minute since I've done this one. I remember there was like a big guy. And the big guy is, like, the problem. So let's see. Okay. Run inside. The first one's already in the light, so it's not a big deal. But the next one is not in the light. So we gotta come into the light. Let's just block. And, yeah, they do get stunned, which is helpful when they get into the light. And let's keep going. I feel like I'm gonna miss something in here. I really do, just cause it's been so long. I've only done this place maybe once. Like this might be one I've only done once, but we will see. Come on over here and hop in here. Come on, inside, there we go, got them both. What's good though is I'm pretty sure, yeah, once you make them appear like that, then they're out. There isn't like going to be, oh, if they walk out the light, they're going to then, like, become shadows again. I don't think that's how this works at all. All right, let's take this thing out. Come here. Ow. Die. These guys feel really weak in here. Let's check this out. Yeah, there's nothing in here. No hidden paths. So let's keep moving. I'm really trying to remember, where is that dungeon or catacombs at that I'm thinking of? It might be one of the super in-game areas or something, because there's just one particular one that I freaking hate, man. Okay, where are we? Like, oh, God! You see, that's the problem. That is the problem for sure. Forgot about that. And there's an item up there, which makes it even worse. I do think we can get back up there, though. So don't worry if that happens to you. I mean, if you're watching my video, it shouldn't happen to you. I mean, come on, guys. All right, take that one out. And there we go. Poke, poke. OP. And we got something back here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get back up top. I kind of remember that. Because that definitely happened to me on my first playthrough as well when I did this place. Let's look at messages. All right. Can I open this? There is a switch. Now, I'm pretty sure we're about to encounter the big guy, where you have to run back. Oh wait, no, this ain't it. Oh yeah, okay, so check this out. This is what you can do. You can... Oh, why didn't I just get closer? Come on, squish him. There we go. Yeah, walk on this. Now you can jump over here, and I think this takes us back. No, don't grab me, man. Ah! Please don't knock me off. You! Uh, what am I doing? Gotta get back up top. I hate these zombies. All right, let's make the jump. Let's come on over here. Get out of my way. When he grabbed me earlier, I seen that coming a mile away. I really, really was hopeful I wasn't gonna fall off, but I was pretty confident it was gonna happen. Oh my God, what is all this? Hello. Ah, get out of here. Let's get up top. I'm gonna kill this thing. Stop shooting spells at me. You too. There we go. Now let's go back down there and murder the rest. Hello. Oh my god, that's epic. Let's do this. And let's open this up. Oh, hello. Mm -mm, don't grab me, dude. Just get shield wrecked. There you go. Let's open this up now. Yeah, this is going to be a long episode, guys. My God. 
the first like recording I did, which I mean, I literally just stopped the recording and started right back up. But the first one I did was like an hour and 15 minutes. Now this one is pretty much at two hours, so damn. Let's look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bunch of liars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'm still pretty confident this takes us back to the top where we can go and grab that item and just drop right back down and make our way to the end. Unless this is like some dirty secret. Oh no, here we go. Hop on down and now we can go and grab the item and it's probably nothing. I'm glad they put that there. Like, oh, never mind. Some ashes, that's important. It's nice though that they put that there because otherwise you can't teleport. You would have to wait until you beat the place and then come back. So obviously, yes, you should be careful with these, but at the same time, there's no way it's gonna kill me. I have way too much health at this point. And yeah, there's an item up there. Let's just run on through. Zombies, I don't like you guys, so I'm not gonna fight you. And, oh, hello. There's probably something to jump up over here. Okay, wait a minute. Chill, everybody chill for a second. There's a ladder. Oh, oh God. Is that the giant door? I think we gotta hit the lever for this, right? Yeah, we have to hit the lever for this. Come on, man, leave me alone. All right, we're climbing up top. I just really don't wanna deal with all that. Let the freaking blades murder all the zombies. And they are murdering all the zombies, cool. All right, so where am I now? All right, let's hop on down. Check this up and kill this guy real quick. Come on. It's really funny, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I talk about those guys all the time, but I wreck them so bad almost every time. But let's go ahead and pick up this. This was the item we seen earlier, which was a big nothing. But let's come on up. And here is the shadow dude. So I'm gonna grab that, which is important. I want to see behind him. So you can't do anything to this guy, right? But I do think we have to kill him. Okay, yeah. You're gonna have to kill this guy. So, in fact, I'm pretty sure this is what opens the door. When he dies, the door opens. If he's not dead, the door doesn't open. But yeah, you need to lure him back to that light. So which way was the light? Hop on down, he's following. Um, no, it's the other way. Now we just gotta be careful. Come on down, where is? Okay, whatever. Just run. Pick that up. Chill here. Come on. Oh, he's falling. Yeah, he's really, really aggressive. He's falling me like crazy. So we're going to come back into the light. Come on, dude. No, why are you going to be stupid? You look like you were on my ass the whole time. Now, he does chase you. Like, don't worry about this too much. He's just... You know what it is? He's blocked by all the damn zombies. Zombies, please. Just die and get out of here. Ow, ow. Come on. Chase me, please, now. I have to wait for these stupid things. Dude, please. All right, good, he's on me. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, we are good now, so let's chill. And walk into the light. There we go. Now it's time for you to get wrecked. I think you can get a grab on him. Well, you know what's gonna really wreck him now? The shield! Goodbye. And now the door is open. So at this point, we just need to dart to the end. And yeah. Ow! I told you it wasn't gonna kill me, but damn, that did hurt. And yeah, this is a hero grave. This is very bizarre, right? Like, this, I guess it's different enough from a catacombs. It's not really a catacomb, so it makes sense. And I really don't remember what the boss is here at all. Now, this part down here definitely is a hero grave. The hero graves always look like this. Look around. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything in here. Let me know. Did I miss something? I don't think I did, though. Pretty sure I got everything. Let's go on through, and... Okay. I don't know what the hell that is. Summon that. 
Pretty much the same as those other freaking bosses we fight all the time. Like, it's just got the freaking name. Oh, wait a minute. Well, it does have that. That's interesting. It's got frostbite. All right, let's get on top of it. And goodbye. Get wrecked. I think this is going to be a legendary, and it is a legendary Ash. So that is awesome. So now, when it lets me, I can leave. Or can I? What's going on here? Like, it won't let me leave, and the Black Knife is still going to town. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and use this so that I can actually leave. And I guess I could just take the elevator back up top to get the rest of the stuff. And then this episode can be done. Okay, perfect, actually. I thought I was going to have to take the elevator back up. Let's get rid of that now. And... See, this is what I'm worried about, because earlier what I did... Oh, man. I know there's a couple things over here. When I was marking the map, though, to be fair, I didn't really want to come up here because I didn't want to trigger this boss. I've had it before in the past where this boss has, like, despawned on me, and I couldn't get him to come back. It's, like, really weird. So, I'm trying to find it. Okay, yeah, there's an item up here. Let's go get this. This is what I had marked, I guess. If I can jump up top, there we go. Pick that up. Oh my god, that's a wonderful item. And get rid of that. Now, what did I have marked over here? Like, what is this? I don't see nothing. What is the point of me marking this? Well, I might be missing something up here. I have no clue. Let me know. I had a marked thing down there, but I don't know. All right. It's dragon time. Oh, no, I can't summon. Oh, well, I can't. But I can't summon my freaking thing. See, I didn't rest the grace. Now, that was a problem. But, yeah, you remember this dragon? These dragons are freaking epic. He took a little damage because we fought him before. All right, let's rush him. And he's blocking still. No. Now, dragons... You know what, these ones, I'm not sure. Dragons bleed really easily, but yeah, this particular one, or these types of dragons, I don't think they bleed that much. But it is awkward trying to hit this guy with the shield. Oh, I take it back. I think I just blood him there, right? All right. Oh my god, I can't, I can't do this. Ah! At least that doesn't hurt you. That's cool. All right, come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna bleed, to be honest. Watch out, he's flying. Lock on. Ah! Okay, he just murdered a bunch of rams. That's not very nice. What did the rams do to you? Jump attack there. Block. Like all dragons, if you can hit him in his stupid face, he's gonna take a lot of damage, but it's very, very... Oh! <laughs> Never mind. That's the beauty of the spirit spear because it's a spear it does have reach plus that vertical attack is super nice block all your garbage just to be safe i'm gonna chug i really want to smack you in your face again and i hit him but i didn't get the face lock on the face hey oh my god i got him again you are so dead dude got him i like that fight a lot that's a fun fight and he's gonna drop one of those lightning type spells. And yeah, those spells are cool. Like, you get a lot of those, and they are pretty awesome. Now, let me look around real quick up here because maybe the item was up here or something? Okay. But yeah, that's that same dragon you fight when you first come out here, and then he kind of just takes off. Oh, here it is. Okay. I marked it because I remember this. So, we can get the heart bow. That is a painting. So, just to clarify, let's get rid of this stuff. That particular painting that we just turned in, so you know, was the one that we got here in the castle. So, we don't have to worry about that one anymore. It's done. Like I said, in the next episode, hopefully, we if there is anything left to do, I'll try to get that done. And then we'll move on to the new area. Do a bunch of stuff there. And then we'll start making some progress. We'll actually start doing stuff. I still need to actually finish that guy's quest too. The one I started in this episode. So I need to like look into that and everything. 
But I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this and that it has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me and be sure to subscribe for future episodes of this series. And if you do, make sure you click the bell. That way you can stay notified. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace. So.